Hello, and welcome to the Bellhop's Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, or Cardboard Concierge, normally answering your game and game night questions, striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, I am here with my podcast co-host, Sean, and my wife, Deanna, and we are going to be playing some three-player Sorcerer. Now, normally, on Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, as in right now, we play Gloomhaven, four players, with Kator, Tori, and Kat. Uh, they decide to run away from us, and they are out in the county somewhere camping and fishing and probably playing board games around a fire or something. I don't know. But they're not here to play Gloomhaven. Plus, tomorrow is a huge Extra Life event. It is Extra Life Tabletop Appreciation Day. And here in Windsor, we are hosting a 12-hour gaming event at the CG Realm. So if you happen to be watching live and you're in Windsor, come out to CG Realm tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's on Tecumseh Road at the corner of Hall and Tecumseh. I assume most of you aren't there or you're watching this after the fact. But because of that, Sean is down for our event tomorrow, and we are going to be live streaming everything on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash tabletop um, I have played Sorcerer quite a few times, so a couple shout-outs before we start the show. This copy of Sorcerer was provided by White Wizard Games for the purpose of review. Uh, also, this is a really sweet-looking Easy Roller Dice dice rolling tray that was also provided to me for the purposes of review from Easy Roller Dice. We are going to be using this tonight as well. I don't know if you have anything you guys want to say. Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we are going to go through a quick teach, though so Sean has read the rules, Deanna has played before. Um, I'm going to summarize most of it. The thing with this game is almost all the rules are on the cards. So like any of these dueling games like Magic the Gathering or Star Realms or any of that, um, most of the rules are on the cards, so there's not a lot I can explain ahead of time. Uh, this is a non-collectible game. You buy the box set, you get everything you see on the table, plus a bit more that's still in the box. Uh, these are all the cards that come with the game. The expansion packs are going to come out, which will include additional characters, additional lineages, and additional domains. Right now, this is just everything that comes in the base set. Uh, the game is designed to be played with two players. We have tried it four players. There are rules for three players, but we're not sure how good they are. And that's the main thing we're here to find out tonight, is how well the Sorcerer play three players. Um, what else do we have? Before you leave, make sure you hit follow, subscribe. If you dig what you're watching, head over to Patreon, search for Tabletop Hop, one word. And let's dig in. I don't usually bell them, do no, I? No, you don't. Probably should. I don't know. It would fit. Yeah. All right, so in Sorcerer, you are playing some kind of evil sorcerer. We are not the good guys. It is Victorian London. Uh, oddly enough, not steampunk, because it seems like nowadays anyone puts out anything in Victorian London has to be steampunk. This is not steampunk. It's much more Cthulhu. Which punk? Cthulhu <laughs> by Gaslight is, is probably the closest I would go with. So we are fighting over London. There are three sections of London we are fighting over. Old London... I can't even read that. Southwark and Whitechapel. Whitechapel. Okay, I actually know some of those terms. Uh, what we are going to do is we're each going to build our character. And in this game, you're going to pick a character, a lineage, and a domain. And that's going to determine your grimoire or spell deck. So similar to the card game Smash Up, you're picking three different decks and smashing them together. And one of the rules I always forget is who gets to pick what first. Uh, well, there's the random or draft game. I, we're not going to draft at this point. So, oh, no, we'll draft. Sorry, we'll draft. We'll pick. Uh, draft so we you have to randomly determine which player chooses first. Well, we use the app Schwazi for that. If you don't know what Schwazi is, you should look it up. Oh, wait, see? I told you. It's tuned to me now. I've hacked my Schwazi. All right. So, so what do starting I pick? from that player, proceeding clockwise, have each player choose a character deck. Okay, so I pick a character. I like this dude. This was the first one I ever played. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the entire deck. And then you're going to take the top card is your skill for that. So your character's going to provide your skill. And then the rest you're going to set aside. All right. Um, sure. I'm just, I have no idea. So. Okay. And, and, now starting, oh, starting, and, then straight, and then starting with D, she picks a lineage deck. And we go in the opposite direction. So, Ooh, what do we have? You should probably be saying it loud. Yeah, you should be showing sure who you pick. No, because at the end you read them off. We'll okay. do that. We'll, okay. we'll right. form our characters. So, what is left? The necromancer? I don't like the animist. Someone is playing the vampire. That's going to make things interesting. So, we are going to need additional tokens because someone is playing the vampire. Don't shuffle. Oh, you have it. You're going to have to take the blood track out. Okay. 
No, but you already did it. And then it's back to me to pick. And then it's back to you and pick to the, pick the last away. thing. Yep. So I get first and last. That's an odd. That seems to give quite the advantage to first player. I've done them before. There's one of these I have not actually played. I think it's this one. So I will pick that. So again, you're going to take the top card off. Put that there. Top mm -hmm. card. Put that there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't oh. see them. I thought you meant, I don't know, I'm taking this one. Uh, and now I can shuffle once I Yeah, so you're going to shuffle everything else except for those three cards. Uh, the one to watch is the vampire. It does have an additional blood track card. And I don't mind if you're a full shuffle, just every other one or so, flip them back over and do them upside down so they get bent both ways. Okay. So the other decks are removed from play. If we were playing four players, we would use all the decks that are included in the game. Normally, this is two-player. If you were playing two-player, you would have leftover decks. If we had any of the expansions, we would also have, of course, extra people. And if you want to play with more people, you can just include two or portions of two decks, or two box sets. Yes. But then you're going to have some duplication of characters. or So right now, it's not available in stores, but there are three expansions, and it's one character, one domain, and one lineage. So one of the things you takes is a bit of a pain in the butt with this game is you really got to shuffle good at the start because you've got set decks that have been set aside. So you want to take a, a good long time shuffling. Um, the standard is seven riffle shuffles to randomize a deck, supposedly. But that also is based on someone who knows how to riffle shuffle really well, which is not me. So the way the three-player battle royal is going to work is we are each fighting for two domains each. So I am fighting for one on my left and one on my right, and I'm fighting the people across from it. So Deanna and I are fighting over Old London, whereas Sean and I are fighting over South... South Work? South Work. South Work. And then similarly, Deanna and Sean are fighting over Whitechapel. So now we will read out who our characters are. Since I went first, we'll go backwards starting from Deanna. All right. So, I am Zevran, the Blood Lord of the Outcast Sanctuary. And Zevran's special action is to exhaust this skill card to play a non legend minion from your hand with its cost lowered by two. And the Blood Lord has a bunch of special blood pool stuff going on. Uh, whenever you play a vampire minion, you may exhaust this skill card to gain two blood. And then I see that I can spend blood to do various actions here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the Outcast Sanctuary, you may exhaust this skill card to give the attacking minion plus one attack, and if you do, you may choose to destroy that minion at the end of its attack to gain three energy. I am playing Mizelda, the Demonologist of the Haunted Forest. Uh, I exhaust my skill card to you exhausting non-legend enemy minion with four cost four or less, and if there is not one to exhaust, gain three energy instead. The Demonologist allows you to play a Demon Minion, and when you exhaust this skill card, put two Flame Counters on a non-Legend any enemy Minion. And the Haunted Forest allows me to exhaust this skill card to gain an Omen if the attacking Minion is a Skull... Save symbol, so it's all the cards from that deck. So if you look at the Skull in the bottom right. corner... So is a, is a Haunted Forest Minion, gain another Omen. So I can gain two Omens with that. So I am playing Tegu, whose action is exhaust this skill card to play a minion from your hand, then draw two cards. Sorry, Tegu the Necromancer of the Forgotten Temple. So Tegu lets me play minions and get cards. The Necromancer is whenever I play a zombie minion, which is one that came in this deck, from my graveyard, I can exhaust this to weaken it. Weaken a non-legend minion twice. And then my tactic from my domain is... You may exhaust this skill card to heal one damage from the attacking minion. If the minion's from this deck with that symbol, it can heal two. So one of the things to note right away is each of us has a character token to represent our focus. Where we are focusing, you're going to put a thing on each battlefield. So that's where we are, our character is on the battlefield. The thing is we can't actually interact with each other. We never fight each other. But all of these skills only work where your person is. So if I'm here, I can apply that tactic to any of the fights here. I can apply that ongoing anytime here, and I can only do this action here. 
If I was over here, it'd be the same thing. So you can think about it. These are the spells you have, and you cast them when you are leading your troops into battle. Yes. But even like the ongoing. Even spell. the ongoing. I only get blood for summoning a vampire if I do it where he is. Correct. Can I ask you? That's for your blood track. Thank you. There is one extra. So, getting into the actual rules of the game, I'll use my deck to explain it. There are three types of cards. There are, I, you know what, I'm going to use magic terms because I'm bad and White Wizard probably hates me for it. But I'm going to call them sorceries, but you have spells. They have a little spell book in the corner. They have no stats on the side. They have the casting cost at the top, and then they do something. And you're basically going to one and done. You're going to read through the card. You're going to say what it does. We're going to act it out, and then it goes in your graveyard. So your grimoire goes here, your graveyard's there. And they do actually call it sorcery in this game. Oh, there you go. So it's a sorcery. The next thing you have are minions. There are two types of minions. I'm not going to search for my deck for a legendary minion, but they have gold text. They have a little symbol next to them. I think they even say legendary. They have a cost to summon in the top corner. They have an attack value and a defense value. And I know you pointed out that there's, I think, essence is the defense yeah. and attack is probably power or something. Uh, no, it's actually attack. It's okay, attack so it's and essence. attack and essence are the two stats. I play a lot of card games. So in this one, unlike Magic the Gathering, your five is not five versus four. I'm going to attack with five strength and four defense. Instead, five is how many dice you're going to roll, which we'll get to the dice in a minute. And then essence is how many times your minion can be damaged before it's removed from the game. What's different from a lot of these card games is... Matt, um, Damage is sticky, which meaning at the end of the round it sticks. <clears throat> so if this guy has taken two damage, you put two damage on him. Next round he still has two damage on him. Once you get it to four, they're removed. There is an ability called wounding. When you wound a card, you can do damage to it, just like a normal attack, but you can never kill it. So if I wounded this guy for, th for four, he would only actually take three because he has four essence. Or if he was already at three, you couldn't wound him. So there's many cards that wound. You are going to need these tokens, which are special tokens, because you light things on fire, because that's kind of your shtick. Uh, each of us is going to have our own shtick that's determined by the middle part, your legacy. You are a vampire. I can raise things from the dead. Those are our things. The other one we are not playing is all about bugs and spiders. And it's one of the more difficult ones. So then the next card, oh, also all your abilities are going to have things. So again, if you see the crossed swords, that means it affects where that minion is only. So it's that battlefield. Ongoing is going to be ongoing. Actions require actions. Tactics happen when you attack. So here's an example of the last type of card, which I think they call an attachment. It's basically an enhancement. It's, an, it's a thing that buffs your cards. You'll notice those because they have the name of the card on the side, and they give bonuses. So it shows plus two to the attack and plus two to essence. They also all have tactics, which means when you attack with this character who has that on them, they're going to do something. So the way you show an, a, an attachment is like that, so it's on next to it. Enhancement? Enhancement. I think that's what that's attachment. called. It is attack. Yeah, yeah, I was right the first time. So he, this adds his stats. So he now has a 7 attack and a 6 essence. And when I tap him to attack, I can look and he has a tactic that says, you may draw two cards and then discard two cards. So every time I attack with this minion. At each battleground, we can only have four minions each. The other thing is, once a minion is at a battleground, they're there. There is a way to move them. It's one of the actions when I get through the actions. For this game, we can only move between our two battlegrounds. Which also means that flying is useless when you're playing three players, which is something I already don't like about it. So some of the minions have a symbol up at the top that shows they're flying. There is an example. Flying lets you move between any battlefields, but normally you would have three battlefields in a row, and you'd only be able to move from one to another. You can't jump, where a flying minion can jump. So that's it. Those are the three types of cards. The cost to play the cards in the top left, when you summon it, <coughs> very Keyforge-like, you're going to look to see if there's a pentacle there. If it is, it means as soon as you summon that guy, you get an omen. That is the hardest thing to remember in the game, I swear. And it's the same thing as Keyforge when you get your Amber for playing cards. So you've got to watch for that symbol. Watch for other players playing creatures to see if they have them. So getting into actions. We are going to play a series of actions, which is six each turn. Uh, we are going to start with, I have first player, so I actually get this token, which shows it's filled with blood. I can use this token for something, then it's emptied once per turn. So I start with that token. I don't start. See, that would have been a Rado thing. Mo took an omen and didn't put it back, but he caught it later. You're going to draw a set of cards for your hand. I think it's six. If you want to double check that, just to make sure I'm not wrong. You're going to draw a set of hands to start. And then there's normally a ready phase, but you don't do this the first time. 
So the fate counter I have as a first player. Then you ready all attached and exhausted cards. So exhausted is tapped. Ready is untapped for that comp, you know, for magic players. So untap all your stuff. Um, then normally you would decide if everyone's going to get four energy, which is your mana, or if you're going to roll the mana die, which that will start getting us to the dice. We are going to put this right in the center of the table, which hopefully people can see what we roll. So this is the mana die. It's a large D8. And it has numbers one days. It's literally a D8, but it's big. So there's something we can probably zoom in for. So that would have been one mana. That would have been four mana. That would have been four mana. You choose if you want to get four or roll the dice. Once you've decided, you can't re-roll. Like, you can't be like, no, I should have took four. We're not doing that for the first turn. We all just start with six mana. Then each player gains one omen. We've already done that. We've each taken one omen. Omens are re-rolls. We'll get to that. Then the first player... Put your avatar, you're going to choose where you are. So that's what we do have to do right now. So one of the things that's unique to playing three-player is the way the battlefields work is when you damage an opponent's minion, instead of attacking the minion, you can attack the site. When you attack the site, you're going to do damage to it. Eventually, when you get to the end, in the normal game, you would destroy that site, and you get to see London on fire, and you mark who destroyed it. When you're playing three-player, instead, the player who... Oh, that's horrible. The player who destroyed the site gets one point, and we play to three points. Which is going to be, we don't really have a good way to track that, so I don't know if we want to remember or what. You get a point, and you play to three points. Yes. Okay. Um, here's my question. Decide if you want to count down or up right now, because we have problems being consistent with that. I don't know, I've always been counting up, because that's the way it is in the rule book. So I am going to choose to focus on Deanna. Launch on. Technically, I get my six spells first. So we're going to each draw our six cards. I got it. I got it. Thanks. There we go. So you just sit in the middle for now. So I don't know. We don't have a good way to mark winning, which is uh, one of the things that could be improvement. We can use the other, the green tokens or yeah, something, sure. throw them on our board. So we're each going to start with six cards. You can, at this time, discard any non-minions and draw new. So if you didn't get enough minions, that's the mulligan rule for this. So I have picked where I'm going to focus. Sean's going to pick where he focuses. Mm. And then Deanna's going to pick where she focuses. So then when we do go to combat and we do attacks, you're going to use these dice. Um, I know I'm way too zoomed out to really be able to see it. Once we're in combat, I'll explain it one by one. You roll the dice. They either have one hit, which is going to do one damage to the opponent's essence. Two hits, which is going to do two damage to the opponent's essence, or the sight, sorry. Or the pentacle, which is a crit. Now what happens is the attacker assigns the damage on crits, the defender assigns the damage on hits. As for the order, they happen in that I don't know. What so order you fight your fights in. The order plays first player go in the first round, first player re uh, does their left battlefield, then their right battlefield, and then the second, second player, player left right, third player left okay. right, then the next round, it's right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, geez. Okay, so something else to remember. <laughs> Interesting. We need arrows. <laughs> yeah, we're we in arrows. the arrows <laughs> or something. We need, we need a big rock that says your turn. Okay, uh, that's basically most of the rules. The rest can come up. Uh, I know I didn't explain battles very well, but there's a step-by-step -step to go through battle. So now, getting into the action phase. So every turn, you're going to pick one of the following things. This is actually very clearly explained on the board, which I like. Channel energies gain two energy to cast spells. Your blue marker goes up two. Takes a turn. You mark your turns down by one. Really simple. Meditate. Just as simple. Draw two cards. Note, that's the only way to draw cards in this game. Well, unless cards... Unless, as usual, it's one of these games. It's exception-based. All these cards may break these rules. The only way to normally draw is to use that action. It's not like at the end of your turn you draw cards or at the beginning of your turn you draw cards. Um, next is cast a spell. So that's pay the cost from the bottom and play it where appropriate. Again, sorceries happen right away. Minions get summoned at one of the two battlefields. No, you don't have to summon your minions where you are. You can summon your minions on any battlefield. And enhancements get put on minions already in play. Some enhancements are curses and get played on your opponents. That totally depends on your deck. I don't know who has the curses, but I've seen quite a few of them. Uh, that is activate a power. So that's something that says action on it. We all have one based on our character. And then the last one is reinforce. That is use an action to move a card from one battlefield to another. I haven't read my cards, of course, because I was teaching this. So it'll give me a couple seconds to read through this. So again, this is my first time through. Everyone else has played before. 
Not a lot, though. We've played we four still times. reasonably new to us. How you know when it's a vampire minion, but it's any of the ones that have that icon on it, right? No, they say vampire at the bottom. It'll say minion type. Oh, minion there rate. it is. Not so you may have vampires from multiple I, ha- I have to say, maybe it's, maybe I'm the old guy here again, yeah, but I, those bottom texts are really hard to read. You know what, though? Part of it is the lighting down here. I did not have a problem when playing at the CG Realm, so... Oh, okay. Interesting. I will do something that's probably going to suck for Sean in the future, trying to edit the lights. <laughs> Future Sean, change the color balance starting right about now. All right, I don't know how bad that was on stream. I apologize if that hurt. Yeah, see, I can read it better. Yeah, no, it is. It's because it's that golden color. It's that golden on weird stuff. Made it. But it's still small. I got. I got to admit, it is. It is kind of tiny. Well, it's the fact that it's. It's more the fact that it's on a. Well, it depends on your background. Yeah, it depends on your card. So I'm going to start off by summoning. I'm going to spend two mana. To summon, where do I want them? I don't even know. The Council of Three. When played, oh, sorry, I get an omen for playing them because it has an omen symbol. When played, you may search your grimoire for up to three cards and put them in your graveyard. And you may as well play because I don't think what I put in my graveyard is going to affect <laughs> your strategy. All right. Uh... A taunting rare arch, and there are no attachments, so I can't destroy them. See, it does call it attachment there. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I've done one action. Smart that you have uh, done. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. I move the energy to move the action. I'll exhaust this fellow to have a non-minion. Non legend minion cost lowered by two, so this will cost me four. And since he's a vampire minion that I summoned where I'm located, then I gain two blood, which also is taps exhaust this card. And I gain a, an omen. That's the part I always screw up. Yep. Try to remember the omens. Uh-huh. Omens are going to give you rerolls, and they're really yeah, nice. I got flying though. But... <laughs> oh well, no take backs. I did it in the wrong <laughs> order. I knew it too. One health. Yes. Huh. I am going to channel energy to get two energy bags now. Yeah. Done. All right. I am playing the caretaker. When plays, play, choose one. Play a non curse attachment from your hand or graveyard with its cost lowered by one or weaken an enemy minion. Well, I'm going to play my one cost attachment on. Uh, and that puts a flame counter on an enemy minion that does not already have one. Is that a tactic, though? Yes. So that's when you attack. Oh, well, sorry. Tactics are when you attack. Almost all the inha- attachments, that's what they do. Right. Is they put it into play tactics. Okay. It's kind of annoying because you can cover it up, and then you have to remember what the tactics yeah, do. So, you so I usually, like, cover it up until you tap. Yeah. Something like that. Um, and then, oh, what can I do here? Um, ah, but what I can do is... Nope, never mind, that's not over on that side. She's over there. <laughs> yep. D. And turn. Yeah. And turn. I will channel. Oh, yeah. I am going to use an action. Exhaust this card to play a minion from your hand, paying its cost. Then draw two cards. One play, draw two cards, then weaken an enemy minion. Well, there's no enemy minion to weaken, but that is going to give me four cards total. And that also has an omen. Oh, I have one of your flame counters. Done. 
Um, I'm going to channel. I am going to summon the Doom Spirit Keeper, and when destroyed, you gain two energy. I'm going to play a Vengeful Mummy from my graveyard. Buried. You may play this minion from your graveyard without paying its cost. Mm. Doesn't like big dice. Yeah, fits. I'm going to meditate. I am going to meditate and draw two cards. I will summon another vengeful mummy from my graveyard without paying its cost. That's going to get annoying. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting one. And, you know, uh, nope, there's no point. Done. I am going to. I didn't like to start with Mustn't have. You mustn't have either. What? It's no, his I'm, turn right now. It's yeah, yeah, it's his, yeah, you're rude. He uh, wasn't. I'm going to cast Innocent Blood and put three flame tokens distributed between. So, minions. what flame tokens are going to do is at the end of the combat round, I'm going to take one damage for every flame token. Yeah, you shouldn't be there yet. Yeah, you yeah. should. Yeah, you should be there. Um, no, you should be there. Actually. Yes. Okay. I'm like, no, wait, that's not right at all. Okay. So. I'm like, I don't know. Uh, okay. You had an omen symbol on the card you just played. And from. I had an omen symbol oh, right there yes. on the card from last turn. I saw it. Can I have one too? Please? Yeah. Watch the omen tokens. Is that just as bad as the amber and? Oh, uh, I have one for it. I have one here and here too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Oh, okay. So, Someone sort of this guy, bad. when played, you may pay oh, any uh, amount of energy. Draw that many cards and gain that many omens. Well, I'm going to pay three. Two. One, two, three, and I gain three omens, please. That's a lot of omens. I think that's kind of an interesting card. Uh, what do I do? I will summon another vengeful mummy. Done. All right. So, action. Exhaust this skill card to exhaust a non-legend enemy minion with a cost of four or less. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to exhaust the flame minion I have that I have, and I'm not going to kill. <laughs> That's my action. Yeah, I hate that ability. Last action of the round, and then we go to fights. So who fights first? Is it you? It's usually defender, then attacker fights first in the middle. Like, I know we do the battlefields left and right, but who actually attacks first? No, when you roll this, mm -hmm. it's you get that much more, or it's mm -hmm. set two? No, no, you get that much more. Okay, I'll channel for now. That's right. Okay, now we need to know what order the battles go off, just to be sure we're uh, doing this correct. Right, action phase. Phase. Battle phase. It's left, right, but... Um, no, to be starting with, with a battlefield focus. on the first player's left. Players alternate attacking in that battlefield. So you, then D, then you, then D, then you. Then and then, then, you. then the other one, it goes the other way around? I'm not on your left. No. No, on me, yeah. Sure. Um... Yeah, it says alternate. Once both players have completed all their attacks, then move to the bat move to the battlefield to the right. Yeah, let me see. That's weird. Oh. 
So you pick one of your your characters to attack and attack with that, and then I pick mine and attack with that. So when does this one come in? Not at all. Not no. See, that's around. the this is the two player rules. What is it for? Well, it's the same. It's just first player goes left right, then second player goes left right, then third player goes left right. Hmm. Also, maybe you just maybe it is just you. No. No, I can't be right because that then. That'd be weird. Yeah. This is why people don't like more than two player or teams. Overall, I shouldn't have set my hand down and discard ball. No, that's, that's probably not that's a good idea. For it. Um, it's a learning curve, this game. Like, there's a lot of moving parts, right? And all the decks are different. There are, but I think that this is the most confusing part we've run into so far, is just what order. Yeah, it really does make a big difference. Yeah. Is anyone screaming at us in the stream? Any sorcerer experts out there? There's no one watching, so no. <laughs> Oh, here it is. During the initial rounds battle phase, players attack first on the battlefields on your left and second in the battlefields on your right. Oh, that's what changes. But you always do the first player's battlefield. They complete whichever battlefield they go first in and then complete the one they go second in. But then when does this one go up? Well, it's me first. So I do this one and I go first in. And then I do this one, and you go first. Okay. And then it goes to Sean, and he does this one on his left, and he does, and so on. So on this one I go first, I am attacking with a Vengeful Mummy. Um, I am not there, so I have no tactics to use. I have two dice. So we are going to fully explain the combat rules here. We're going to zoom in. Hopefully you can see the dice. So in the battlefields, the first thing you do is you pick a minion to attack with. So I only have two to choose from. And you exhaust it, so you tap it. So I am attacking with this minion. Then we resolve any applicable tactics. As I just said, the only tactic I have is this one, and that tactic only works where I, my character is, and my character is not there. So I have no tactics. Now I roll the dice. So I am just rolling a number of dice equal to its power, which is two. And I think you can actually see that. So I have two hits. Now, as the attacker, I can choose if I want to spend any of these omens to re-roll any of those dice, and it's one omen per die. At this point, I have two hits. I'm not that worried about crits. I'm good. Now you can spend... I'm going to spend one to make you re-roll. One. All right, and now I will spend one to re-roll that again. Hopefully get a crit. Um, I will spend another to re-roll. You've got the big one, too. Yes. Still, I'm going to wow. stay at that. I'm going to keep this one for a fight over here. So I do one damage. Because it's a normal hit and not a crit, you decide where that goes. Right. So you can either have your minion die, which is not probably not a best choice, or take one damage to the location. Right. And you just mark it with the cube. Now right. you get to go. You pick one of your minions in the fight to attack. You're going to tap That's it. The one. So tap that. Now do you have a tactic? I do. Uh, so I gain a minion, and because he is a whatever kind of minion... Oh, no, wait. He's not, no, that's that's a demon. This is the demon one. That's ongoing. Never mind. So, so what do you get? I, get? I get one omen. One omen. Okay. So re-roll. Uh, and then two dice. Oof, I'll make you re-roll the two. That's not much better, but I'm good. All right. Now it's um, up to you if you want to force any more re-rolls. Nope, I'm good. Uh, and so I'm going to do uh, one damage to him. Okay. And then I have to assign one damage. I will. This guy's dying anyway, so we will put one damage there. Okay. And that's it for this entire fight. So I'm done this fight. Now we move over here, but Deanna gets to attack first. <laughs> Say one thing about two player and team. There's more, like right now, you have no vested interest in this nope. fight at all. Couldn't care less. Whereas when you're playing teams, you always cared. Yep. So that's, that's another little knock so far on three player. Especially if we have a lot of guys over here, it's going to be you sitting there for a while, while. Yeah. Okay. I'll attack. Okay. Tap it. Roll based on your number of attacks. So two, right? Yeah. The red part. That's fine. You can spend. I will spend. I'll leave me. So I now have to assign two damage. I'll put one here, one here. Now I choose someone to attack. I will attack with my four. 
And because I'm here, I will tactic. I immediately, I could do one damage to the attacking minion. No, heal one damage to the attacking minion. So I won't use that yet. I'll save that for the later attack. <laughs> Heals. Uh, uh. I heal, and if it's one with this, none of the symbols that are up, I heal two. Two crits. I'll leave it at this point. I would. That means you get to assign it, right? Yep. Yeah. Let's reroll this. Crit and a hit. Yeah, I still got rerolls. The crit? Yep. Just trying to move these out of the way so I don't bump them. Two hits. Three total. Three. Okay. All right, we'll go with that. Where do you want them? I'm going to get this character destroyed. I want it destroyed. I gain two energy. And two more. I'll assign the other two to the location. Okay. Now, this side is you, that side's me. Yeah, like, no, this is your house. Right. No, I, yeah, you have taken two damage. Yes. Again, yes. we, we yes. did all accept before, so I want to be clear. Okay. Now, it's my attack. I will attack with a vengeful mummy. I will attack with oh. two dice. Two hits. I'm okay. not going to bother doing anything funky there. I will take two more. Okay, now you attack with yours. I will use the luck token. So what this does is it can force yourself or your opponent to reroll all the dice. Two hits. I get to assign. Well, this guy can die because I don't care because he'll just come back next turn. And then Frickin one will go there. Yep, <laughs> that's what this deck does. He lights stuff on fire. Fucking you got blood. Magic, you could have been using your blood. I don't know about blood. I know. All right, I attack with this one. This time I am going to use the Necromancer tactic and heal this zombie before it attacks. Oh. Here, I'll roll that in the middle. For one crit. You know where that's going if you don't make me roll. This guy should be tough. Yes. He's gone. Eh, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll make you reroll. One hit. Okay, that is that battle. Now we move to Sean, and we do the battle on its left. All right. First. So I think. But that's there. Yeah. So. Uh, and then you do that one again? That's the part I don't get. That's what it said, didn't it? That. I know, but I'm yeah. like, so you do that battle twice? That doesn't Everyone's make sense because everything would be tapped. Like. Everything would be tapped. The initial round's battle phase. So should I not have attacked? Should you have attacked but not me? That doesn't make sense. During the battle phase, start with the first player's battlefields. Complete whichever battlefield they go first in. Then complete the one they would go second in. Then it just says continue around the table in that direction. So it would go this way. Until all battles are completed. Oh. Okay, so D attacks uh, first. Right, that's what this says. During the battle phase, start with the first player's battlefields. Compete in whatever battlefield they go first in, which this round is on the left. Right. And then continue around the table in that direction until all battlefields so are So next time I'll go first in this yes. way, but this time This time it's first. going this way. Okay, all right, all right. But D goes first on her left. So you go first over there. Well, no, because it continues around. No, no, that's the order you fight the battles in. Players attack first on the battlefield on their left and second on the battlefield on their right. Okay. The order you fight in is different than the order you fight the battlefields in. Okay, so we did this one, we do that one, then we do this one, but no. I go first because mm -hmm. of yes. weirdness. Okay. okay. Um, I'll, I'll because you went first here. No, you didn't. No. No, you go first there because you went second here. Yeah. You went first here. It okay. works. All right. It just sounds yeah, weirder. It's... it's the wording. All right. Um... Put a flame counter on an enemy minion that does not already have one. Burn, baby, burn. Now, you also have a tactic you might want to use. Oh, no, that's an ongoing. Oh, okay, yours is ongoing. Um, yeah. And I get uh, eight dice. Wow, you can only have seven. Oh. And that is literally a rule in the game. Okay. There are only seven dice, so you can only max out it. Seven. Wow, that's terrible. That is a horrible roll. I am really cool with that I'm going to... As many as you want to spend. Two, because I don't want to spend them all. So. I don't know. They didn't get bumped earlier. I just worry that yeah, you're going to bump just... your own dice. Like, we could technically put them out here. 
I'll take it. Four okay, hits so. and a crit. Yeah, four and a crit. He has one to spend. Get rid of the crit. Yep. So five hits. Five hits. He gets to the side where they go. Four to your minion. I don't know because it's flamed. All right. Okay. Is there? Are you? Do you have a tactic, or did you already get that on? That was my tactic. Was your flame counter? Okay. You have five to assign. Okay. Now D attacks back. Alright. So I'll give the attacking minion plus one. So I'll attack the seven. Jeez. Wow, <laughs> that's a big, big fight over there compared here. to oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. <laughs> dead people are just. Dead people and imps are swatting over yeah, here. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, like I did one damage to the site. Woo. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, roll the crit. I'll take that. Uh, you can reroll the two. It's uh, your last fight. But uh, you yeah. do keep the omens between turns. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what? Reroll the two. Yeah, I'll probably regret this. But... Nope. All right. Um, hmm. I'm going to take two. Eat one. All right. So now we resolve all end of round con. Uh, yes. Yeah, so now all the end. So these guys burn. So yeah. they both die. Don't worry. So be burning done. does one damage. One dam. Well, one damage per counter, and the flame stays on. And the flame oh, stays that's, on. Oh, okay. That's, okay. Yep. That's his shtick, right? Yes. You you got blood. I get the playthings from my graveyard. Technically not yet. Nope. Are there any other end of round? I don't have anything. Okay, so now we get to the ready phase. So the new first player gets this. Does this pass left at least? Always, I assume. I don't. I don't know. You get look. I don't think it's said. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm assuming the player clockwise. It's good. Passes That's clockwise. Fine. Well, I kind of want to. If it goes left, sure right, we're backwards, playing. we're going to be screwed. Clockwise around the table. Yep, yeah, okay. So that's the same. So you get the fake counter face up, yep. full of blood. Uh, we untap everything. Ready all exhausted cards. Yes, we'll get sued for using magic's <laughs> turns here. Um, set your... Uh, so you get the side. Yeah. Are we getting four mana or are you rolling the D8? Yeah, roll. Do it in the middle. Sorry. We'll count it as it has to be in the middle. That way there's no rule if it falls on the floor or any of that. Eight? Nice. Wow. Hey, then. That's going to be interesting. Can you go over ten? <laughs> nope. Fuck. You suck. <laughs> anyway, now everyone gets an omen. Oh, fire. That was my fault. I think. Now, starting with first player, pick your avatar. Where are you going to focus now? Mm. Hmm. No, I'm good. D? Let's do where I am. I'm going to swap over here. Then Sean takes the first, or take your action counter back to six. Okay. And then take your first action. All right. Uh, one, two, three, and an action to put... Lucifer, I am going to exhaust this card. No, no, I'm not. It's a pain. No. Um, You're over there. No, I know, but there's no minions. Yes, so um, you could not play that yet. Hmm. It's kind of all my cards. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm fine. Very good. Deep. I will play this legendary character here, Horatio the Outcast. When he's played, destroy an enemy minion that has one or more damage counters on it. Ooh, that sucks. And it doesn't say non-legendary. Doesn't so... say non-legendary. Wow. Okay nice. then. That hurts. That oh, hurts. Was that was there an omen on that card? Thank you for mentioning that. I would like my omen, please. 
I'm like, I just checked mine, so... <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm going to spend two to raise the dead. And we'll put him right back out with three damage timers on him. And I'll get an omen. Sweet. Play a minion from your graveyard with its cost reduced by four. Jeez. And then deal damage equal to its essence minus one. So, if I have a card that says other minions. So it's including your own. So all minions uh, on, that, on Well, it should have the cross, so it should be out yeah, on that battlefield. Yeah. Okay. For the swords, the yep. crossed swords. Um, all right. Interesting. This is actually really interesting. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. Action. Other minions' text boxes are blank. Yeah, that's a great ability. No getting blood for you when you die. <laughs> Sorry. Um. All other minions? Yes. Oh, yeah. Including your guys? Yep. Mm -hmm. But he's a when played box. And that's not a. That's, a, that's an action, mm. not a uh, minion. That's a very cool, <laughs> cool card. Yeah, you've got a few in your deck that do that. You have a curse that you put on someone and then their cards. Has no text box. Hmm. So any of these guys, if I play it, nothing will happen? Correct. I don't like that at all. It doesn't just say, like, during battle or anything that yep. I'm missing there? Ongoing. Other minions' text boxes are minions, blank. Minions, though. So it, uh, just minions. Attachments would Yeah, attachments would work. Which is important for your attachment, too. That's why I wasn't scared to put it over there, because that attachment kicks ass. <laughs> all right, so... Let me do this. So that costs. Oh, and there's a Oof. When played, you may return one of your non legend minions to your hand. It's a legend. Oh, sorry. I want to return this guy. And uh, gain three energy. Nice. Nice. I will play a zombie from my graveyard that exhausts the Necromancer. I weaken a non-legend minion twice. So I weaken that twice. Right. Just buy a focus there. And I am going to uh, med not meditate, uh, channel. Yeah, meditate draw cards. Yep. But I didn't do that. I usually do. All right. So I'm going to resummon the energy bound prophet, and that lets me pay any amount of energy. I'll pay four, draw that many cards, and gain that many omens. That's kind of nuts. One, two, three, four. Okay, I summon motherfucking little pan. At least that's what he looks like. Like, is that what the card says? No. He it going... certainly does. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to tap this first to play a minion from my hand and get to draw two cards when I summon little pan. Do sorceries go at locations? No. So he gives every zombie plus two. Okay. Which, that's a zombie and other zombies. So he's a, the zombie's a four. Um, and I draw two. I'm going to, for my next action, play a Flying Dread White, which weakens any non-legend enemy card any number of times. Wow. <laughs> so I'm going to weaken him twice. Yep. Because I can. So are sorceries like instants? They just go in yes. your deck? Yes. Discard? Sorry. I like how everyone just automatically goes to magic magic terms to you for any kind of anyway. Now, nowadays it's impossible. 
They defined they defined the genre. They did. Wow. Huh. Okay, I channel. Trying to suck up what I want to do. I had a few options here. No, I think I just put more zombies out here because they're tough now. Done. That channel. So, I will exhaust this to pay two less, so I pay one to summon Golden Concubine, and then that is a vampire, so I will exhaust this to gain two blood when I summon that card. And that's my goal. Two actions left there. I will cast Tegu's Resolve and heal this too. Mm. Hmm. It's ongoing, so it doesn't do anything. What's the text on those uh, mummies? I can play them from my graveyard. Oh, okay. Basically. Mm. Oh, it's got a four attack. Yeah, tap it. Oh, I hate that. How much I can do about it? Uses your turn at least. Yep. I should be here. Yep. I guess I'm screwing up. Okay. Um. I'm going to take a blood bath <laughs> and get four blood. So now it goes the other way around, blood right? Bath, blood bath, gooey, gooey, blood bath. Yeah, so now I start on the right. So this is our first one. Uh, I am going to start with... No, no, I just thought to go. Oh, I'm just trying to decide where I want to do things. Why does that seem so much louder than the last week? Mm -hmm. I don't, to be honest, I've never actually noticed the music you play. Yeah? Hmm. Is it that quiet? Yeah, or? I think so. I don't. Like, I've never the actually. Mike's right there. I'm sure. It's like it shows, it up. it's picking it up. Okay. It's all background ambience. Yeah. Like I do this, right? It's. Yeah. yeah. I, get I know you play it because I knew you. Like the other day, you complain. You're like, oh, I forgot to turn that off. That must, and everyone's like, oh, that must have been a creepy uh, act intro. And I'm like, I didn't even know you had music playing. <laughs> like it's showing registering on the mic, but it's barely hitting green, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. Where do I want to do my last thing? What do I want to do? So we're going first on the battlefield on our right. So you're going first there. I um, don't think I'm still going to do this here. Okay. Oh, not. Yeah, I had zero mana. I'm just going to play it. I am going to buff a zombie with the Book of the Dead. It's a plus two, plus two. And its tactic is draw two cards, discard two cards. So that's a six zombie now. Jesus. Which hopefully you don't roll enough crits to kill it in one hit, but then I'm done. And then it's back to you, so now we go to battles. Right. So why are we drop frames at 67%? Ouch. When I opened Chrome. That's what killed it. Well, that's the processor not the other kind of shit. Yeah, not that's the yep, that is the processor. That sucks. Sorry for the drop frames. Now that this is going, I hope we're good. Where's where's the frames pop up? Yeah, we're still at 66% for top frame. That's what do you think of this so far, Sean. Cool. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should just not be playing music in the background? If it's we're a broadcasting at zero rate? kilobits per second right I now. That's not good. No. All right. Uh, All right. Is... I guess we'll kill that. I'll start by using a tactic for the Haunted Forest, which means uh, I gain two omens because I have a skull... 
guy there. Well, if that's who you're attacking with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so three. Oh. Yeah, very early. Mm. Your choice first. Yeah, I'm going to reroll the blank. Hey, okay. What do you got? Two. Okay. Reroll the crit. So that's the only one I really care about. That's fine. All right, so four. Oh, we got to keep him alive. We'll just go one, two, three, four. All right, we're going to do the big six. Could have been better. Take the crit. Nice. So, yeah, if you're keeping it, you got five. Five to assign. Mm -hmm. um, take one more there. All right. Uh, next up is, oh, wait, sorry, that destroys him, uh, which gives me two flame counters. Oh, he dies? Yeah. Uh, Damn flames. And he's at four total, right? Yep. <laughs> Alright. That sucks. I should have read your cards. Um, and attacking with him is two. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. okay. I will do two to him, kill him, because he's going to die at the end of the round. Anyway. <laughs> Good call. And I'll attack with this zombie with did four. Just... Never mind. What did I do? No, I thought you took his card with yours, but I was thinking of what I had to do. Three hits. All right. No, I have fights over here. I'll keep it at that. Uh, I'm going to reroll the double. Yep. One hit. Nice. Uh, no. You know what? No, I'm just going to lose him. Okay. That oh. is that fight. Now you do the fight on your left, mm -hmm. but I'm assuming D goes first because yes. it's on her right. Yep. yep. So I'm gonna tap this and attack you with seven. I don't know. Our stream. Ever since I opened that up, we've been at sixty-five percent drop frames. Well, it takes a while to drop down, right? It's a total. No, because it just went off again. Oh. And it said 65% again. Shit. Oh, well. It's greedy. Quiet without it. Wow. Jesus. That's obnoxious. Um, all right, reroll the crit. Wow. Oh, fuck. All right, two, four, six, eight. Jesus. Um, all right, so. Two, oh, oh. two. It's five right there. One, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You applied seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, you're right. Good. Oh, there we go. Good. All right. Oh, this guy's tough. All right. Uh, I'm attacking with this guy. So I'll put a flame counter on an enemy minion. That does not already have one. Right, and that's seven because I can't have eight. Wow, well, I, I have to take it. I got no unless I do the unless yeah, I do you can the, I'm not everything. I'm not rerolling everything on that. Hell no, <laughs> <laughs> that's six plus two crits. All right, 
Me roll. Ian's going to be there at no, 9 30 tomorrow. There you go. So we could actually go a little earlier. Over. Overachiever, but we have to get the coffee. Yeah, I know. Which is also at 9 30, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Three. So mm. three hits, two crits. All right. Um, That's a lot. Where are you applying the crits? Two crits are going to be one, two. You could three. assign them to the state. Yeah, and then three for you. All right, well. Are you just going to put three on the. No. No, because she's going to put one on the thing. That's one what here, I was thinking. One, one here. on the site. Because they don't die until the end of the round. Or they die but they're going to die from the fire anyways, yeah. both of them, so I might as well. Yeah. So one goes to the site. Probably would have been the same anyway. Oh, actually, you know what? This character hasn't gone yet. I'll apply two to the site so she gets a chance to attack. There you go. That's better. Now it's my turn. I'll attack you. I will use two blood to, for my vampire minion to get plus two attack. So she'll be attacking with a five. There. I'm going to have to turn off Discord notifications. I got no comments. Uh, you could make a reroll everything. Yeah, I'm not going to at all. <laughs> I will apply the crit to this jackass. Yeah. <laughs> and dead. Which means when he dies, his power is going to go off. Much better. And then um, you have two to apply. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. All right. Over here, Mo gets to go first. All right, I will go with four first. I should just grab four. I'm pretty happy with that. You see this? No, <laughs> I'll re-roll the blank then. You have a bad luck with blanks. I do. All right, so two hits. Where are you applying the crits? Uh, he's a three, that's a two. That's two. I'll kill this. So two to him? Yeah. Okay. You decide what that means. I'll put one on there. Okay. Now you get to attack. I will attack with my prowling defiler. Hmm. If someone hits 12, do we set them both back to zero? Back to one? Yeah, or the whole site resets. Hmm, not bad. Let me roll the crit. Is that two? I can't see three. Three. three total. Oh, that sucks. All right, we'll go one, two, three. All right. And then an attack with the council of three for three hits. All right. One, two, three. All right. Ah, Hey, Dragon Gem. Oh, hey. Hello. 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 We'll zoom out in a bit. Um, and that's I got none, hits. So that's going right to the site. All right. And that is all the fights. So now. End of turn effects. No fire here. No fire here. Dead. Dead. Okay. When this guy dies. Yeah. You get blood. You gain one blood for each damage counter on enemy minions. So four blood. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're done our Would end you like of to round. Not sleep tonight? Sure. <laughs> D is player one, so you get the fake or the on top. energy die. Go big or go home. Oh, Call you your, uh, zoom out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let me zoom out. Ready all your exhausted cards. Ready all your exhausted cards. Hi, Dragon Jam. Three. Lame. Okay. Oh, you rolled? I mm. rolled. Yeah. It's okay. I don't I don't need this stuff anymore. Let's see. Oh, 
I'm going to reassign. Let's play a guy from the graveyard. It's cost. I didn't untap here. So I'm going to spend six blood, leaving me with four, to play a non legend minion from the graveyard with its cost lowered by three. From the graveyard. Did, did, you, did you want to keep him? Oh, keep your, yeah, we got to be back up. Do you want to keep your. I moved my person. Oh, got it. Hmm. 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 I think I'll stay right here. Well, it's going right. into the yellow instead of the red. That seems bad. And Sean did say, well, ask Dragon Jump, yeah, no, <laughs> since he's can, actually on the stream. Can you hear it? Sean said before that he didn't really hear it. Okay, um, so I'm thinking I'm going to... Uh, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to think about where I want to be. This is my first time here. So, I'm yeah, excited. I want to stay there. First, I'm going to do this one. This one. I'm going to spend my three to summon the... Oh, let's do this right. Okay, so first I will pay two less for this. Mm -hmm. that then, this is a vampire minion, so I'll gain two blood. Why am I there? No, because I don't want two blood, because, oh, fridge. Because I'm at max. Fine. Wow. Okay, so I'll do this one first. Note to self, vampire four. is complex. Yes. Cost four. Okay. Cost four to play a vampire minion from your hand with its cost lowered by two. Okay, so I will Didn't play this one. Didn't you your graveyard? With its no, cost. I didn't. I put it back. I, I was like, okay, so I'm playing this with its cost lowered by two. I had three. I am spending one. It's a vampire minion. I will tap this, so I will gain two blood. <laughs> Alright, I summon the Rat Catcher, one played, draw a card, discard a card, hmm. I, don't like I don't really want to discard that now. All right, discard a card, then play a minion with cost two or less from your hand without paying its cost. From your hand or your graveyard? Graveyard. From your graveyard, without paying its cost. Oh, wait a minute. That's not a minion. Oh, well, I guess I'm playing a zombie. It's fine. And they're all zombies, including that thing I just saw. All right. Um... I burn it. Uh, Alright, three flames for... Uh, it's, it needs to be burned. It's creepy as hell. It is. Uh, one, two, three. No, I can't. That's in the rumble. Okay. Two cards to play a non-legend minion from your hand with its cost lowered by two, so this will cost me one. To put out this, whenever you play another vampire minion, gain one blood and one omen. That one, I just played a vampire minion, so I'm gaining an omen and a blood. So what can I gain one for that casting? Oh, and we all we all should have gained one at the beginning of the turn. Yes. Oh, you got one at the end? Yeah. I don't think I've done that, before, like, ever. No, we did it. I, I gave you one last turn. Yeah. Okay. I channel energy. Done. Um, I meditate. Oh. Here, where put that? Done. It's still too loud. Definitely too loud when you stick it closer. Well, you can put it lower. Um, We're not getting any feedback on how loud it is on the screen, so. Let's see.
Personally, I like the ambiance, especially for this sure. game. Is it my go? Yes. I channel. I also channel energy again. And so we we'll put it here a flame counter on an emery minion, but uh, she's there, and that is a demon type. So I exhaust this to put two flame counters on a non legend enemy. Fires everywhere. Burn, baby, burn. Nice. Your turn. Fine. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the six blood to summon this guy from my graveyard at minus three cost. So he will cost a total of three. Oh, I'm done. I forgot to use this. Play him here. He is a vampire. Therefore, one blood, one omen. One blood, one omen. Two wow. blood. Two omens. Plus, he has an omen sign on his card, so I'll get that. That is my turn. I summon the Knight Templar. One played. That's not the card I want to play. Where is it? Here it is. Sorry, wrong one. The Purifying Widow. One played, remove up to three damage from as many minions as you wish. Uh, I'm sure I must have a monk in here somewhere. Done. And I tap this person. Oh, wait. No, maybe I can't. No, I can't tap that one. Too much. It's too expensive. Oh, it's a cost thing? Yeah. Um, you can only do it where you are. Yeah, I know. Um, Alright, well, I guess I tap one. Okay. Last action. Right? Yep. Yeah, that was it. You should already be done. You were first player. Oh, I guess I can't count. I thought I had one. Or did I mess up? I don't know. I might have last. Okay. You were one away, right? Yeah. Or did I mess up? Maybe I messed up. One, two, three actions. You did a blood thing. Right, well, the blood thing was me summoning this guy. So, one, two, two three cards I've summoned, and I channeled. channeled. I've only done five. All right. I must have been ahead. That's fine. I've definitely only done five. You go load the stream. There's probably enough lag. To <laughs> I cast. 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 Three. And then I channeled in the Sorry, bad sounds under the mic. Yes. Oh, I apologize. I channeled first. Yeah, I'm fun. I don't remember what I'm looking at. <laughs> oh shit, all the minions in the battlefields get destroyed when you win. That's it. That's oh. new for this. Oh wow. That's not the same as a normal game. <sighs> That might have not have been a good call then. Oh well. My guys will come out of my graveyard. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'll spend one, summon a Doom Spirit Keeper, which will give me another helmet. That is my final action. Okay, I want to double check that you can only have four minions at each battlefield. I'm almost positive. That sounds good. Because it's six with I remember four we players. I screwed it up at one point, yeah. Yes, per side. Okay. Just wanted to check because I'm like, I will summon some more. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to meditate then. Because I need mana for next round. Um, Is it meditate? Draw cards? Yeah, meditate. Sorry, channel energy. I have lots of cards. I, I am going to meditate because I don't have lots of cards. I, I, my dude lets me get cards when I summon minions where he's at. So. 
All right. I have not had the card. And D attacks to the left first. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, to be honest, like I'm probably in trouble over here. I'm going to lose all my guys because I'll just blow up the battlefield. All right. I'll attack with this guy. Oh, we are going to zoom in. See, Dragon Jam didn't even reply, so I don't know if they didn't hear us or they just put it on the background and was yeah. being nice to us to this some That's views. always cool. They went, always appreciate it. So now I only have one even. woman. What so happened? They only have two. Wow, you have a lot. Yeah, she has a thing that every... Yeah. So I'm assigning one damage. Is that the end result here? Yeah. You choose first if you're... Yep. Yeah. Rerolling. All right, we are going to go with the four first. I gotta say I like this. Mm -hmm. Like it's nice to use. Yep. Worst this? on the stream. Okay, the game actually tells you to roll it in the box, which is terrible because it's too deep and you, you can't, can't see. see. So this is a music thing, okay? Besides, they make, besides, they they make, make it the so it looks nice. pretty. Right? So you're supposed to roll in here, but if this is in the middle, well... It's hard to see in But it's kind of hard to see I mean, it's too. partially that I'm just... Yeah. And when we played on smaller tables, it's impossible. So, uh, this is better. And when we play Warhammer again ever, this would be oh, awesome. Yeah. I like the corral around mm -hmm. the outside. Yeah, that's for your dice now. It's I literally, still we're want using to play it with for my metal for. dice yeah. in there. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh. Okay, uh, your choice. sorry. I'm I am not going, going to modify to... the dice. You have your thing, too, the luck. Yeah, I know. I will make you reveal that one. Okay. I am not going to modify it. Okay, where are you putting the crit? Kill that before it can attack back. Oh, fucker. Well, why wouldn't I? I don't know. <laughs> it's the right more. answer. I don't have to like it. <laughs> then two more. Um, uh, we're going to throw here and here. What? No, no. She's the side. She gets the damage. Oh, we're attacking her. Wow. I mean, that's great. If you want to do that, that, that is Jedi extra awesome. I love it. Somehow. I don't know what happened. Wow. Um, Usually you're the one pulling that Yeah, I know. Hmm. <laughs> and I need a thing that's like, remember your skills. That's mm -hmm. the thing I'm telling you. You're doing pretty good. Most people who play this the first time, just I have to be like, hey, remember your skills. Hey. So I have two that I have to assign? Yes. I'll assign one to this creature, okay. one destroyed to gain two energy, and I'll assign one to the site. Okay. And you attack that? And I attack that. No, I've literally been using, like, you go back to our, uh, Three. Wow. I'll make you reroll the two. Oh. oh, well. I have no more rerolls. So what are you killing? Mm. You can kill either one of these. This one can't be resurrected without funky abilities. So that I play it from the graveyard. It costs nothing. And you oh, just keep bringing it back every round. Right, so let's not kill that's that That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Or do a damage somewhere to the site. Yeah, I will do the quick Okay, there. that's... To me, makes the most sense, but it might not. I don't want to choose. And there's one more for you to apply. Three. One more damage for you to apply. Didn't he have three damage on him? Yeah, he did. And I, was, I thought maybe he healed him somehow. Like, no, I was going to ask you about that. No, I did earlier. Last round, I healed him. When I played this, he healed three damage. Okay. Well, yeah. then, yes. He's fine, then, because like the only other damage he had on him was the damage you took the when you attacked. you put on yourself <laughs> yeah, by <okay>. attacking. <laughs> All right. Three dice. Lose the site or lose your guy? Well, I'll sign two here and one, one here. The there you go. And then attack two. That was the sound for me to vote to destroy the site. Yeah. <laughs> two hits, does it? Oh, oh. One. Damn it. You can make me reroll, but probably don't want to at this point. I'll just. Yeah, yeah at this point, you almost should have blown it up because I lose all my guys. Yep. Like at this point, it's like I only have taken three. So it was you. Mm -hmm. So now you go no. to the left. You attack first to the no. left. No. She does I'm her second player, fight. She's so the start player. Oh, right. And then yes. we come around this way. Yes. Fight first. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's good. <laughs> that's, okay. That's that part's a little yeah. weird, but it's no weirder than the full game. Uh, I exhaust this skill to gain an omen and none of my attack. Oh, my attacking creature is a, is a head. I get two. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that destiny better than mine. Okay. Used all those. Uh, this tactic gets a flame counter on an enemy that does not already have one, which is only that one. That one here. Burn, baby, burn. Um, and I roll seven. 
But like compared to this to Magic, we could have played how many games of Magic by now? Oh, yeah. Like this is like hour and a half with two players. We're at an hour and a half with three. Mm -hmm. But there was the teach, so I'm gonna say about an hour. Yep. Every time we've tried to play it, we've run out of time. No one has even won a battlefield yet. Um, uh, that's I'm a going to of damage. Reroll my blank. I think these using their luck token here. Oh uh, yeah. You know what? That's what I would do. Reroll um, all of them because that's a lot. That is an awful lot of hits. Fish. <laughs> a lot of hits. That's still a lot of hits. Wow. Um, I'm gonna close on. I'm not gonna touch anything. Hacker decides first. <laughs> so four, still, six. I, I we can still, still go. Like you better, might as well use your rerolls because over here I don't think you're going to be doing much. All right. This is D's last fight, right? So. Oh, wow. Another double? Lost one. No, I just lost one. Hit. one hit. Uh, Fine. So that's five. Now I'm going to reroll a uh, blank. Yeah. And it keeps going back and forth. Yeah. So, oh, you know, that's, that's what happens yeah. to me when I reroll blanks. Sorry. Blanks are meant to be blank. Apparently. There we oh, go. We got correct. But you knocked this. That was a single and it became a yes, double so, just now. Uh, yes. There were no doubles on that. So five and a, five and a crit. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So where's the crit going? All right. So the crit is going. I do like the combat system. I like the crit. She can't and... attack, so I don't, I'm not in a rush to kill her. Uh, I'm gonna do one, two. She's going to die. I can't kill him. One in sight. That's probably your best bet. Yep. All right, and then I have five to assign. Yes. So I will assign one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then I will attack with this character, tapping this to get plus one attack. So I'm going to four. And when she's done, I'm going to blow her up for energy. Because she's going to die anyways. Hmm. That sucks. Let's fix one of those. There you Better. Go. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Still. Still. This is what it is. I can't do that. No, if you, you want, you gotta reroll. Reroll the blank. So, what do we got? So, so, I got a crit to apply. Just say it because people are watching. I have one crit to apply. I'm trying to think of where it's going. I'm going to put it on this dude who hasn't had a chance to attack yet, Correct. so he dies. dies. Oh, nice. And, and then you have two, two damage. damage. Where would you like it to go? Um, that's like it's getting close. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. That's the so she's stuff. got one more left to attack. Yeah. Um, well, either way, you'll get to assign it next round. No, 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 yeah, I'll try. I don't know. It's probably a dumb idea. But, okay. Uh, then this character will be destroyed so that I can gain three energy. You can just destroy them, even though they're exhausted. It's this tactic. Yeah, it's is literally what's one you give them a plus oh, one attack, attack, and, then and if you do, off. you can choose right. to destroy that minion at the end of right. its attack yeah, right. to energy. Right. It's gonna die anyway. That, that's yep. what she gets to do because of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's domain. why she get. That's why they get the plus one is because yes. they're going away after this. Yeah, that makes sense. That's her domain ability. I don't remember what your domain ability is. Okay, so then I'm gonna attack with this guy. Yeah. I'm gonna use two blood to give him a plus two. I know he maxes out at seven, but. Oh, oh, seven. Oh, oh, that's yeah. like in trouble. Yeah, I think this one's over. I, mean, I got see. nothing. Could be I got no roll. I got no rerolls. She's got one. Yeah, this is, that fight has been huge for the number of dice rolled. No, it's only four. One, Sight two, lives? three, four, five. five. Oh, it's done. That's enough to five. take it out, right? Yep. Yep. All right, boom, sight explodes. Ooh. So I don't know, take one of the green tokens maybe so and put it on your board, like deep. Point. Or just like put it there. Mm. No, because then you won't 
Well, I mean, you'd have to remember that it was me versus... Yeah, but you play it on your side of the board. board. Yeah. Or whatever. Just whatever. play it. Put it I on your board. I have one magic somewhere. green point. So, all the minions are destroyed. One destroyed. Uh, okay. You gain one blood for each damage counter on an enemy minion. There oh, are no enemy minions. Nope. I killed them all in the first seven. And then we move to this fight. Which I go first. It's left. That's, that's why that's, that's, that's why right I go is. first. All right, we are gonna start with it doesn't matter a four a four zombie. No, it's not. At least it's not get beat so many times. I'll keep that four hits. Yeah, <laughs> I can't do anything. Four to the side, or what are you doing? Well, you, you won't get to attack back if you leave. Well, him. yeah, but I mean, if you leave him, at least you get to hit me back. I guess. Not that it'll do much. No, but... the my guys are probably going to die anyway because the site's going to blow. But all right, so... at least this way yeah. you get four dice back, right? Three, three. Unfortunately, Lopan doesn't come back. Three. Uh, I have no rerolls. Need so... um... These guys are all dying anyway. So... so I decide. Oh yeah. So we're gonna go one, which kills him. We're going to assume we're going to beat at the site, so two and three. Assuming that these guys will be able to finish it. So then I attack with four. Yeah, there's four done. right there. Uh, so so yeah. these guys are going to die, so that's one plus three. Yeah, so done. Yeah. You got a magic green. Yep. You got bugs. And we restart the fight. You don't get to actually burn anything playing this way either, which is different. You don't get to see the nice flaming London cards. And pass first you player. You flip them over at the end. Just yeah. <laughs> pass first player. There you go. Now it's going to go to the right. Nothing's burning. Try so have to remember. Stop. Untap. Untap. Omens. For our everyone. Omen for you. Omen. Omen for Where do I want to focus? I'm going to stay over there because this site's about to blow up. Um, I just don't know. <laughs> I just yeah, got you have crushed, been, so you I don't even know which white on both sides. Um, I'm going to try fighting the blood bitch. Um, <laughs> hey, where are you focusing? Mm. I figure this is a done deal at this point. But then you'd have two points. I really don't like yes, that. Yes, I would. You know? Oh. So far, I guess a three-player works. You set your actions. It's not. Let's go over here. Okay. Uh, you guys have a bunch of mana. Or you have a bunch. But I really need some. So. So far, no one has taken the four option. Two. Although we should have. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, well. It's fine. Like I said. They say you got lots. I'm good. Not the rest of you guys. Ah, what am I doing? I think these going to be the big trouble here. Me? Trouble? Never. I'm a wonderful person. You shouldn't uh, say bad things about me. Yeah, I think we're going to just reset everything up. I am going to raise the dead. That cost me two. Then I play a minion from my graveyard, paying its cost minus four. That's another one. Um, that gives me two omens. He comes into play with two damage on him. I'm, that's my action. All right. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if we're dropping frames bad or no one cares to watch us play Sorcerer. We are not keeping viewers tonight. One, two, three, four. We may look like action. that pixelated cartoon. Yeah, I know. Or possible. this just may not be very exciting to watch. Put two flame counters on enemy minions. <laughs> Arg. I was, I was going to heal him, but now there's no point. <laughs> uh, burst into flame. Uh, not, a, not an omen card. All right. I will There's an omen him to Yeah, it's okay. Okay. I have three. Play this oh, here. If you want to let me back up, I'll do this so I get to draw two fucking cards because I keep forgetting. Hmm. Go ahead. 
I keep forgetting my skills badly. Much better. So I will only pay three to summon this character, who also grants me an omen. Ongoing, whenever an enemy minion becomes exhausted, gain one blood. Oof. And it is a vampire, so I will do this to gain two blood. Math, it's my action. Four essence, eh? I don't have the mana for that. There's no point in doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Now, instead, I'm just going to spend one to equip Narg or whatever. <laughs> Narangelfell. Narangelfell with the Book of the Dead. Giving it plus two, plus two. And as a tactic of draw two cards, it's discard two cards. <coughs> I'm just chanting. That gives a man or omen. I'm spending four blood <coughs> to play a vampire minion from my hand with its cost lowered by two. So this will only cost three. And I summon her twin sister, who wow. gives me another omen. Okay, so, so much for what I was planning on doing. I summon a zombie from my graveyard. They gotta be in here. Here they are. And when I do that, I weaken a minion in the battlefield. Uh, right, my turn. Uh, I'm going to channel again. So I'm expecting a big card now. <laughs> And draw two cards. I am going to play a Vengeful Mummy from my graveyard. Because that's what I do. I am taking a risk because I don't know the cards in this game at all. <laughs> but I am going to summon a creature from my grimoire and pay its cost to play it. And if it is the right kind of card, I return an attachment from my graveyard to my hand. Okay. Um, you good with D going while you look? Yeah, go ahead. This yeah. could take some time. Yeah. Um, Channel. Yeah, me too. So I guess that didn't help much. Well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, didn't do well at buying you time. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. It's, a, it's the check social media time. <laughs> That's what this is. RPG and Co is retweeting our stuff. I wonder why. Wink, wink. Hmm. So. Shuffle. But see, it does show the key icon now, and it says vampire minion. So that's why I thought it was too Three. Yeah, but I don't key. think any of the non-keys have <clears throat> vampires. So gotcha. I am playing Miselda's Infiltrator. When played, copy an effect of a when played non-legend minion, mm -hmm. which means two do two fires. damage to a minion that has one or more flame counters, or put two flame counters I'm on a minion. You're killing him. I'm killing that's him. Gonna, yeah, that's gonna <laughs> hurt my everything <laughs> zombies. That's a good one. Good call. <sighs> Really good call. Nice move. Uh, and it's my turn again? Yes. Oh, and I get, sorry, and because she... Oh, so your thing was to play a card from your hand? Yeah. Well, oh. I, I played a card from my Grimoire. Okay, we should have that Digo, but that's fine. That's fine. But because I, um, because it's that type, I get to take an attachment yeah. from my graveyard. And Oh, what is, is, is I thought you were just adding a card to your hand. So no, we're playing it, we uh, should have. I probably still would have channeled energy. 
Uh, where is that? Where, I only have one attachment in here. Where the hell is it? <laughs> only used one. Look for the words on the left yeah, side. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to use that attachment on her. She's got a gun. Zelda's got a gun. Uh, and that's all I can do at this point. Plus three. Jesus. Yeah. It's quite the attachment. Your turn. You have any mana left? No, no. Okay. I am going to cast the Seeker's Embrace, which costs one. I will draw. Gentleman. Gentleman. Thank you. I will draw two cards. And then I will play oh, no, a minion no, from my hand, paying its cost. And you may choose to weaken it, but I'm not going to to gain further omens. <laughs> wow, I ate through a channel. So that's my last turn. I am pretty sure everything I can play direct in my graveyard is out. But give me one second. No, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. If anyone happens to be watching, I burn things, <clears throat> Mo brings them back from the dead, and she makes uses blood. Yeah, she is a vampire. Yeah. All right, uh, for my last no, turn. to go. Oh. We collect the blood, okay. we drink the blood, we use the blood. Uh, da, 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 I could. Um... <laughs> Has to be where I am. Shit. No, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the crosswords. Tigu's resolve, I weaken to to a minion. Done. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I am tapping devoted worshiper. Oh, that's what his thing is. Where his person is, he just taps something. Oh. I don't care for that at all. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> It's, it's the one ability. I'm just like, oh, it's annoying. All right, battle phase. Uh, no, I, I you still have to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. it's right out first. Channel. But I'm on the right this time first. I. Yeah, it was yes. left last time, so yes. Yep. Okay. So I am going to attack with my six, but we are zooming in for the fight phase, the battle phase. Don't, 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 I thought you were doing it. Corjo Wombat! Six. Hey, I have some omens this time. Not a lot, but some. That's pretty good. Yep, I'm, yeah, I'm not yep, going to yep, complain that's, about that's that nice. at all. Fuck. That, no <laughs> the crit and the doubles? The crit and the doubles. What am I at? Four? Oh, five. Five. That's still... What else do I have going on? Well, this one needs one fucking hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to bother using my omens. <laughs> Whenever an enemy minion becomes exhausted, gain a blood. Yeah, you What's blood. the order? Do I get it right now, like before this character dies? Does it matter? I think so, because I tap before you assign damage. Thanks. Don't you just get one? Well, it happens two characters, twice. Two characters. <sighs> okay, so I have to assign five. So, um, two, three, four, five. Yep. Because I don't want to lose the thing. So assign the damage. Yeah, I was uh, going to put the dice on there. I don't know what I was thinking. This card goes up, yep. and there's three on here. Those aren't blood. The omens. The omens. Got it. And you're attacking with that one. Yep. It's a big five. And I will um, tap this to make her a six. You can blow her up for energy? Yep. Wow. This is just not meant Stucky. to be. Um, well, you know what? I got nothing better to do, so I'm going to re-roll these.
What do you got? Three? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can. Wherever you want them. As long as it wasn't four. Yep. Because that guy still gets to attack. And the odds are you're going to come. Yep. <laughs> that is the odds. One there. Okay. Two on him. Two. You have a, one more two sign. Yeah. I'll do it to the site. Mm-hmm. And I will attack for three. Wow. There's three. You don't have anything, so that'll do it. Boom. He's two gonna die in anyway. Then this fight. Alright, so um Put a flame counter on any minion that does not already have one. Uh, it doesn't so matter. Both the same shit. Uh, all right, and that's six for me. All but one die. All right. Infiltrator with a gun. Wow. All right. uh, reroll. You choose first. Uh, I'm taking it. All right. Reroll all three crits. Maybe. I have now knocked him. Oh, yeah, it has happened. It's a little better. One and a crit. Reroll the one crit. Oh, you know what? I'm going to reroll the. Uh, before, oh. I do, before I do that, All right. that's fine. I'm gonna, I'll still reroll it, but I just want to reroll this one first. Well, this might be a two. If it's a two, I might, nope. I might change my mind. But it's probably another crit. Yeah, okay. reroll the crit. Okay. So oh. four. I'm going to reroll the blank. Okay. Oh. Um. I still had a character here when you, uh, when you exhausted your other... Yes, you should have more blood. Alright, so you assign six damage. It's a lot. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Zombie. Unfortunately, only two is now. I need another low pan. Two damage. Uh... Sure. Good. Time to damage. One. One. Your attack. Oops. All right. And he attacks for four. To be played. Four. Yeah. Three roll them all. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I should have used that last one. Damn. Uh, I'm going to reroll my blank. Okay. Well, it's not my last one. Well, my last fight, kind of, because there's nothing happening yeah, there. Yeah, there's nothing happening there. All right. All right. So where I are you doing suck. that one? All right. Um, you can kill either zombie, or you can assign it to the site. Uh, I'm going to assign it to the site. Uh, I'm going to take all three to the site, because I actually want to attack with the zombie. When I attack with the zombie, he heals. Go. One crit. None left? Nothing. Because that kill... Yeah, that will kill this. Kill that. So it's not there next round. And then there's no fight there, so... Now, can I use a tactic, even though I've got no, no. minions? No. no. Tactics when you're attacking. Okay. There has to be a battle. So this guy burns to death. Don't worry, he'll be back soon. And this guy untaps. And the other untapping. Untap. Untap. This is going to you. Action. We're being bad for not doing things in order. So uh, okay. I am not gonna move her. Taken omen. Oh, you know what? Yes, I am. Oh, no, I'm not gonna move her. That could work. Um, yeah, omen. Taken one. Everyone took Actions their omen. Back to Soul. Soul. back. What are we doing for mana? Um, I'm going to four. Just so. Okay. You get four. Everyone gets four. First time it's happened all game. <laughs> Alright. So currently, Sean has no wins, Deanna has one win, I have two, and it's the best of, th uh, first person to three, and I just noticed I'm talking to zero viewers, so. Well, you're talking to the YouTube viewers. talking to the YouTube, YouTube viewers. viewers. Well, the YouTube audience out there. Um, oh, this this may go well on YouTube, who knows? Oh. Could be. Uh, Alright, I spend four, one attack. When played, deal two damage to a minion that has one or more flame counters, or put two flame counters on any minion. Burn, baby, burn. The playing on two fronts is definitely a little interesting. 
It is. It is. That's, that's, it, that part's kind of neat. I couldn't see playing the six players. You know, flipping boring it would be between right. turns. Oh, you'd no. have to. You'd have, have to have for everyone two people. Fights. You'd have to have like two turns going oh, at once. Yeah, like two fights so happening. You have to. You couldn't though, because it's always your one on your left, then your one on your right. Gain an omen. I don't think I you am could. Doing this sorcery, the dimensional rift. Sure opposite sides of the table. I am destroying Maybe. one of my minions. Okay. When destroyed, you, when you destroy this minion, you gain three omens. Um, I'm destroying one of my minions to get two cards from my grimoire of my choice. Go through, pick them, shuffle afterwards. So. Into your this hand is, or onto the table? Into my hand. I'm okay, sure. so Mo can, I'm sure it's so Mo can skip hand. then. We can skip. We can skip to Mo yeah. while you're. So that only has one health left. Grimoire for up to two cards. Correct. Two one essence left. Okay. So, oh, I'm one mana short. So I am, um, whatever that is. <laughs> Charging Channel, energy. Channeling energy. All right, I am meditating because I have no cards. Back to D. Every time someone has <laughs> yeah. to go through their deck. We're not really good. Sure. Uh... Ooh, interesting. This is not a kid's game. No. No. It's not. It is <laughs> it's not. not. That's no, what I said. Actually, it's not just the art. We played it, we played it at a kid's... Um, Play place, and I was like, uh, no, yeah, not really just the much. art, this is but the art alone. But I mean, the art alone, the art alone is enough to push it past kids. But and yeah, then you look at what some of the stuff is, and it's yeah, it's not, it's an interesting choice actually that they went so dark. Well, it yeah, could have been it, it, well, it really limits their audience, right? I mean, if you see if you're if you're a parent, and you see your kids playing this, you're gonna have some questions, yeah. Your parents would have thought it was satanic, yes, they would have. Thank you for the rumors of suicide due to cancer. Dallas character. Egbert the third in uh, the Detroit Steam Tunnel. My mom wouldn't let me play D and D for the longest time because she thought I was going to go get lost in the sewers somewhere. The only reason I was there was allowed... nothing about Satan though. The only no. reason I was allowed to, uh, role play, to play was because we, we were playing, playing miniature games. Yes, we, were playing we weren't playing miniature games. We weren't doing D and D. We weren't role playing. We were playing miniature battles. And then it was role playing with cyberpunk, and uh, I think Marvel was the first, was safe the first one because yeah. because I, I didn't remember if you played Marvel with. Them. Well, no, I didn't. Yeah, but but they knew I like Leisure World always had Marvel, so I was always talking about you it. You were and, talking, okay. So I'm like, I, I'm like, I thought Marvel was before you role played with. Yes, yeah, it was. Because <laughs> I'm like, I played a lot of Marvel, but that was yeah, it no, was Steve mm-hmm. McLaughlin mainly. Yep, yeah. and well, my cousin John years ago Never before mind, that. Yeah, okay, so I did that. And I'm gonna get this crazy up in here. There are some crazy cards in here. Yeah. Oh, oh that doesn't okay. work. This one. Okay. I just realized using a sorcery that lets me play a minion is not the same as using my action that plays a minion from my hand. Okay. So I can't actually combo that. So I have to shuffle my deck. And then there's no point because because you're about to sort it again. <laughs> I'm going to spend one to search my grimoire no. or graveyard for a vampire minion. Reveal it. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. If it was your grimoire, draw one card. Gain one blood. Gain one energy. So technically, you have to show us what you drew. Yes, and and it doesn't mean anything one. to any of us anyway. So no, not really. <laughs> I've played enough. I know some of the cards yeah. now, but not. I'm Grab one of these giant. That's one of those. The thing I've learned now is all the abilities. Like I know that what the vampire does. I know what you're you can do with the flames. Yeah. Personally, I think the flames is the neatest, but so far it seems the weakest. Though I assume that Rob and the people who helped design this game. Well, if you're it. if I'm playing a more uh, more powerful, like if I'm playing characters that are going to sit out for a while, then they become more powerful. But because we're doing we're both you're you're burning through characters pretty well, fast because of death. Yeah. Then they aren't as useful. Yeah, the flame on. But the, if I'm the flame on the zombies, I'm like great. Throw it in my dress guard so I can bring it back. But if I'm you know if I'm burning characters that have more power to them. Yeah. I, I just so far I'm having played also, five times. This got me an omen the flame. I like the flame. It's one of the neater it. mechanics, but it doesn't seem as powerful. Well, the, the vampire problem, is just too fucking complicated. The problem is it takes too long for the flame to um, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not well, the other thing I find is once you put flames yeah, on the guys, and then you just use them as soak damage. I'm done. And you're just like, all right, I put all my damage on the flaming guy, so he dies. Yeah. All right, so we are going to have a sadistic ceremony. Again, not for games. Uh, we are going to not summon... For games? Not, not for kids. We are going to summon the Night Regent. So that's for the sadistic ceremony. Oh, the Night Regent sounds like a, a nice guy. Yeah, they're all wraiths. 
<laughs> I, I have I have Templars and stuff, but they're all wraiths. Yeah. They're all that's all, that's dead. from I've never done it. It's from the Forgotten Temple. Of the Forgotten Temple are all undead knights. Uh, he costs a big five, um, but when I do that, I can hurt and cut him as much as I want. I will hurt and cut him for one, which does one damage to you. Okay then. But I could have hurt and cut him up to four. But that kills it, right? You only had two essence. Yeah, yeah. That's that was the point. So yes, by having a sadistic ceremony, cutting up my white. I have damaged your creature enough. Let's be clear, you said white, right? Yes, I was. I <laughs> almost made a comment. Wraith, white. I meant, channel, like, I, is there another way to pronounce it? No, no, white, white is the, white is the uh, confusion. Um, okay, oh, I'm channeling. Oh, I thought you were saying, okay. You channeled energy. Yep. I know. I'm, I'm looking at this. It's got to be... See, I was thinking I could also tap him and right. get two cards. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so... See, the thing is, now that I've damaged him, I have another card that when I attack with him, he's going to heal too. Mm. So it's a, it's a, there's an interesting combo there, but the cool part is the sadistic ceremony comes from Tegu. So I'm having a thinking Tegu and the knights seems like a good... I also channel energy. Uh, I'm going to start by tapping the knight. Ah, uh, fucking stupid. <laughs> God damn. See, now I can't because it's a tactic. I know. <laughs> you can't tap the knight. You're not here. You're over there. Oh, shoot. You're, right. you're paying attention you're over right. there. Uh, you didn't even notice what my knight was yep. doing. Nope, you're right. Uh, so instead of that, I'm going to channel. <laughs> All right. I'm going to spend four to summon a vampire from my hand with its cost lowered by two. And I'm going to summon Jacques Thibault. So he will only cost six. This is destroyed, right? Like, you're not. Yes. <laughs> um, ongoing, you may spend blood as omens. Ongoing, your other vampire minions get plus two attack. He is a vampire that I summoned there, so I'm going to gain two blood. Okay. I am going to summon the Knight Templar. One played, pick an opponent. You discard a card randomly from your hand. You fucker. You just did all this work getting shit out of your graveyard. I certainly did. I don't appreciate this at all. I'm going to let Sean do be in charge of hey, the I use the card. Here. Oh, yeah. Okay, at least it's not the one I just picked. That's, that's what I'm like. I have to do this now. I was going to ignore this battlefield. If you hadn't come out over here, I would have totally focused over there. That'd be somewhere. All right. Um, um, oh, there was a reason I was going to do that. Because I was going to... Oh, well. It's fine. I was going to summon here so I can draw some cards. Fine. That's We're fine. fine. We're fine. You done? Yeah, I just should have. Okay, done. my yeah. slut ensorcels your Templar. <laughs> Tapped? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you get all these women. <laughs> Templar is supposed to be chased. That's, That's why he's a wraith. That's why he's a wraith. Yeah. These are not the. Uh, these are not your daddy's Templars. Yes. That's a one? Yeah. Two action blocks. Lest you doubt it, you did fuck me over by doing that. <laughs> I'm going to draw two cards. I am, for the first time this game, going to draw two cards. If I played him here, I wouldn't have had to do that. Yeah, I like the race, actually. I got some neat stuff. Oh, right. Yeah. Two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I drew cards. I'm just sitting around. Yeah. I uh, actually meditated. Uh, I am going to... Um, I'm going to channel. That's it for me. Ooh. I will summon someone at minus two. I'll summon a devoted worshiper. <laughs> Which one destroyed I gained three elements? Fucking seven and four. Jesus. I will summon the zombie there because that's getting crazy. Done. All right. That's it. Battles! Starting on the right, correct? Left. Left. Because we did right last time. Alright. Uh, there's something about undefended. Did you get that right? No. 
Yeah, yeah there's there's something I remember. It's I don't missing. remember any There's a section that says undefended. I don't remember anything about undefended, but sure. I think you just rolled the dice. And I think the, all I think the you're right. Goes just, to the site. I think you're right, but just I remember there being a, something that said undefended. Uh, yeah, I probably should have put some over there. For a while. Unopposed. If your opponent had no minions in the battlefield for the entire battle phase, your minions are unopposed in that battlefield. Destroying all your opponent's minions does not. So, yeah. uh, critical hits from unopposed minions count as double hits. Oh, damn! I think I forgot that rule last time I played. Wow. I'm yeah. like more. I knew there was chocolate a... thing. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so that's not that I need. Not that that totally I've probably, I've probably eaten. But, but the yeah, only thing is, I decided to get they, a glass they, of water. And it not has to be unopposed the entire turn, which means I can't during the during no. the thing. Wow! Mm -hmm. Ooh, so five. Hmm. And I'm not rerolling. I'm not your opponent. I don't think I can make you reroll. Yeah, it makes me him. I don't see why you couldn't. I think Holman can still be played. Uh, Rerolls. I thought you said something about how you can only spend no minutes in the battle you were in. But I, but I think you well, are like in the battle. You can't, yeah. You're in the battle. You can't spend omens on our fight. Yeah, oh, you okay. can't be like, well, because Sean might, like, if I'm going to beat Sean, I win. Right, no, I know. Like, in the magic and Star Realms, when you play three players, you can technically. That's what I'm saying. I'd be like, no. No, you reroll because you're win. You can't yeah. do that. No, I so. want you to beat the shit out of Mo. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh... Yeah, you are a defending player. Yeah, so you still, so still, still reroll. You still make him reroll. It's attacking and defending players. You, you don't have anyone to defend with, but you are the defending player. You don't have any minions. Better. So three. All and right. you could still make him reroll if you want. It's fine. We'll go so with three. So three damage. Well. And that guy's tapped when he attacked. Now over here, I go first. Yep. All I got is a two. It's not buffed or anything. For two. Uh, reroll one. The odds are I'll still play. Yeah. Oh, well. I think there's only two blanks on the dice. So one dead, one hit. Okay. And no other fights there. So now it continues around this way. All right. And it's you on first, the left. right? So I go first. So I will attack right? this person. Uh, sure. Sean attacked on the left first. Yes. So I'm going to assume it's. So left. she has to attack for a uh, first on her second. So I'm going to gain plus one with this person. That was okay. So I'll be attacking with five. You can't do that. Hmm? Oh yeah, that's you. I'm this is me, and I'm at the right location. And that's all. I should have used my tactic. I'm gone. Oh, he wasn't hurt, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Reroll the crit. crit. Four, so four, sure. I'm good with that. But you got a million rerolls. Yeah, let's reroll the blank one. Reroll it. Now I'm stuck with it. Three. So five total. Ouch. For you to assign. One, two, three, four, five. I am going to blow this character up, gain three omens and three energy. Two. Well, I never got my omen for this turn. Oh no, I used them. You probably used oh, them in yeah, that fight. I, I forgot I'm done with fights. Yes. <laughs> attack for three. That's it. I got nothing. You got four damage. Oh, you're really so shaking this. That didn't count. Well, I rolled those. I know. So three damage. You guys don't shake the table this much in Zoom Haven, I don't think. Well, there's more. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, all of a sudden, I saw cable swaying. Roll that. Oof. Well, how much I can do? All right. Let's just take one to the site. Alright. Yeah, seven. Oh, I forgot to use my Haunted Forest. Yeah, see, I forget the damn cards, all the damn Well, it's because I, there was no one to attack. I was just kind of like, oh. But I could have gotten more omens. Two, three, four, five, six. I will reroll these three. Wow. A lot of damage. Seven, eight. One. Two. And six. That's Seven, not going to last eight. long. Ouch. And that's all the fights. That is. Yeah, okay. Untap everything. You start player D. Uh, yes. Get an omen. Okay, yes. Um, You got your own, own pile here. Do you where are you putting your diamond? I'm gonna stay there. Did you get one? 
No, I didn't. Thank you. Um, oh, I guess we're getting eight minutes. You didn't care where people were? I said staying I was staying here. here. One, two, three, mm-hmm. four, five, six, seven. Uh, failed up. Here yeah, I'm most likely to put fucking zombies. Okay, fucking six health. Fuck. Okay. Now look here, I think. That's only taking two damage, eh? Mm-hmm. Er, yeah, where are you focusing? I understand. Alright. And, uh... Yes. Actions. Yeah. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm spending nine oh, to summon Matthias Volsi. Jesus. Ongoing, Sevens. your blood pool abilities cost one less blood to use. Hold. Oh. He is a vampire, so I would Beast. Get an omen. summon that. And that. there's nothing that says you can't have two of these. Special mm-hmm. dudes in one location, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's my go. Wow. Motherfucking Lopan! He gives me a token. Two flame cutters yeah. on. Uh. You know what? Two on East Boy in the middle there, though. Knife boy. This side's full. These ones? Yeah. No, knife. Uh, that's lame. Yeah. And that side's used up. That's full. Yeah. Right. Sure. Use up? Mm hmm. Um. Yeah. Okay. I channel. Have we seen a legendary minion yet? There's two right there. Oh, okay. Like, they have this yellow dagger sign right here. Okay. And oh, they all have daggers. Is... It's all gold. Uh, well, the background is just daggers gold. gold. Uh, but everything's gold. Okay. Well, Not just the dagger. I have cards where everything's gold on them, so that's kind of like this guy. His color they is also, gold. They also have this symbol. Yeah. Blue. Okay. Skull or something. Yeah, I can barely see that on her sign. That's my eyes. But it's the you gold. You know what? Only one of mine has the special wings. Yeah, this only one's one flies. flies. Yeah, there's not flying. Yeah. It's not a legendary thing. Okay, so where's the skull you're pointing at? Right next to the name. Gotcha. Yeah, that tiny name. little thing you can't read. Oh, <laughs> it's the only thing that can be next to a name. Yeah. So if there's something next to a name. If there's a diddly squat next but to the name, for, then it's For me, with my eyes, oh. I, I, it could be their name. I couldn't. It and could I be another legendary. someone name. twice, though, at this point. Mm-hmm. Okay. I probably shouldn't have played over here at all. Uh, I am drawing two. Alright. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Sorry. This is what I did. So we can twice. I am going to play the. Did I not bring water? No. <laughs> yeah, it's right yeah, here. Okay. It's right here. There. So I'm like, I, I swear I brought water. Spend now. instead of six, I will spend five blood to play a non lungeon minion from the graveyard with its cost lowered by three. The channel. I am blanking, motherfucking low pan. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> you get an omen. Thank you. One thing about this deck, which seems to, uh, the Haunted Forest, they'd expect you to know your deck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is now the second time where I've been expected to have some clue, even, what might be in my deck. And I do not. <laughs> What's this guy's ability? Uh, one when playing fire. Yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Look at this guy. He's going to be less on it. So. Why did you just put something in your graveyard? Because I was picking between... I oh. narrowed it down to these two cards from my graveyard that All I was right. going to summon. That's what my... And I decided to summon right. that one. Uh, I'm going to meditate. Oh, wait. It came back around to me. I was still picking from my last turn, I believe. I don't know. I, be- I didn't I, even know you were going through your graveyard. Because I, so I, I, I was going through my graveyard. 
because I used the blood action, and I think you guys kept going while I was doing it. Did you? I don't did know. you I think not? So. I've I don't only, know. I, what did I do? Hold on a second here. I play. I did. I drew two. In my first action, and I blank motherfucking Lopan as my second action. No, we take it more than that. Okay, well, I've because I've channeled energy and summoned two things. I summoned and drew cards. I well, maybe I need to do another turn then. Maybe I you sh- did you skip a turn? Right? No, I'm showing at the right number. I'm one higher than you right now. Yeah, I think you missed. A... Yeah, I summoned, I channeled, and then I spent my blood to summon yeah. this guy. I think you're, you should be down one more. I'm just not sure what you did. One, one, did you two, channel three. energy? I'm there. I drew two. I couldn't have channeled. I was. I was. I had more than full. I drew two. I did that. Did you play that guy this turn? No, he was... So then where oh, did wait. mana go from? Yeah, no, he must have. Yeah, I must yeah, have played Why is your mana? Oh, yeah, when he's a Wendy's King. Yes, yeah, So right. you should be one more down. There, there you go. Okay. And it okay. is and... D's. All right. Yes. <laughs> like, so All good? Okay. This uh, is why we need instant replay. Yeah. We need viewers well, we on the channel to help thing. us. We need viewers on the okay. channel to okay. correct us. And for my turn, I will channel. Okay, now I will meditate. Um, Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, I am going to play Uh the Stray Sinner here, which is this kind of card. That's a tactic, so it doesn't matter. Uh, But I now search the top seven cards of my grimoire and then shuffle. Five, six, seven for a minion to go into my hand. Okay. Alright, I am getting myself as an infiltrator. I'm shuffling. Play this guy. He's the one that I can pay extra for me. Pay any amount of energy to draw that many cards. You gotta pay that many right humans. When played, you may pay you any have to amount pay of to energy. Him. He has a cost. Yes. Above so one. he costs one, one and okay. then anything above that, yes. I'm drawing cards and energy, right? I'm sorry, uh, cards and omens. So, and then. Oh, that's an omen. Card. Can I see your discard card, please? Huh? Yeah. I get to take stuff out of other people's, too. The oh, jeez. No, I'm not a fan of that. Not at all. You're going to be looking for a while. Pull vampires out of your deck. That's not going to happen. I feel like now is an okay time for me to run to the bathroom. There you go. <laughs> Meh. And this is the point where future Sean accelerates and wait. <laughs> yeah, speeds along while we try and decipher what cards are what for a moment to pick out of somebody else's deck. There is absolutely Mm -hmm. blood. That's not useful. There is absolutely a benefit to knowing the cards. Knowing the cards. Oh, I said the game's all about system mastery, right? Even the mechanics are a little funky, so it's like... (sighs) Okay, you all sorcery suck. Hmm. Wow, I don't know. <laughs> At least mine are more useful than hers. To somebody else, anyway. Oh, fuck, you're gonna be able to afford to pay it, too. Huh. So I may not be doing this this turn. Because I have to pay the cost of the fucking thing. Yeah, I've noticed that. There was one one more I had. It was like, go and get this card out of your deck and then pay the cost. I'm like, well, that's great. I can only afford the first cost. I can't afford a second cost. <laughs> I'm not going to pay that for a while. Especially when I don't know what the cost of cards are. Okay. That's yours. That's hers. So, I'm going to pay him, but I'm going to play him here. When I do that, I'm going to tap this to draw two cards. When played, you may play a sorcery from... Oh, it's your graveyard. Why did I read your opponent's graveyard? 
God damn it. Give me my damn card back, buddy. I didn't take it. Future Sean is just going to skip that whole section. You don't have that back. Sorry, I just can't read. You were going to use my my dimensional rift? Yes, I was. What are you thinking? I thought that was kind of neat. I'm like, huh, that's kind of complicated, though. Mm -hmm. That's the one I did earlier. Future Sean's got a lot of work to do on this episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then I gotta pay another. If I pay for this, oh my god, this is just retarded. I think I like it better two player. Yeah. Like, this isn't awful. No, but fuck, it's long. It's like, it's long and it's long, and there's a whole lot of no, not doing things. So yes, I will weaken him twice. Good. But that wasn't nearly. I gotta read your opponent's graveyard. Mm -hmm. All right, done. Yes. All right, I'm going to tap the aristocrat. Did I not mark my thing? Because everyone else has got. Yeah, it. you must know. <sighs> really? Oh, I should have got an omen for him. Wait. Play a non legend menu from your hand with its cross over by two. Okay. Uh, he gets me one of these things. And I summon a zombie. That is my last action. Uh, my last action, I am playing. I wish I had a remove a turn. Three. Uh, here, when played, copy F. When played, effect. So when played, I deal. Two flames onto tap sky. Ah. Flames. Oh, good. Sorry. Yep. There is a difference. There's a big difference. Yeah. Well, flames. <laughs> There's, There's a difference. That is it. And we go into the battle phase. And who D? This time going yeah, to the left. Player. Is it Correct? left? Uh, I thought it was left last time, but Sean pulled it up. Well, Sean did right. Yes. Yeah, so it is left. Uh, yeah, left. Left, okay. Isn't it? I think so. If you say so, uh, then I'll start this party. We should have back, rewind the damn stream again. Need an arrow for when you play three player. Yeah. Okay. So your other vampire minions get plus two attack, but you can't go over seven. Correct. So I have seven either way. Oh, I'll have this guy attack first. Yeah, that did that in the water. Nope, like I'm missing a dive? Yeah, it's in there. It's in here. Oh, I just can't see it. Okay. Two, three, four, and two crits. Yeah, that's fine. Right? I'll just blow up the place then. No, you only get to assign two crits. Oh, okay. So two? Both well, hold on, hold on. I'll reroll these two blank ones then. Uh oh. Sorry. Well, that's not. I fair. misunderstood something for a sec. You just said you can just assign them, and I'm like, what? Now yeah, she blows up the site. No, now I'll make you reroll a crit. <laughs> How much is it? One, two, three, four, five, and two crits. And I still got this blank one here that I just think I'll read wrong. Wow. Hang on. One, two, right. three, four, five, six. Yeah. Alright, two, two, nothing. Oh, now your other fight. Alright, I'm gonna open with. The Vengeful Baron. Something one destroyed, deal one damage for an enemy minion. That doesn't matter. Good job. <laughs> Double checking. Uh, right, so four. Three. Yes. Um, we roll blank. 
All right, so yeah. Yeah, so I, I got an better review. Just re-roll the whole thing. All right. <laughs> That's a little better. I'll take that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can re-roll. I'm sorry. Sheesh. I'll still take it. Sean can definitely roll the dice. Wow. Fine. You can't make me roll both crits, so... No. <laughs> Alright, so that's dead. And... One to the side, or... Yeah, yeah. And then one more that you get to assign. And I will assign one there. Yeah. Alright. Sean, that was your uh, attack. Now you have attack. Your attack. Back. Okay, do anything. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, um, I'll attack with this one, which allows me to do this, which gives me two omens. Uh, there's only two left for. Two hits. Uh, Two hits, I'll take. D, where are you putting two hits? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, three, I put one there, one there, one there, and then two to the site. No, you're only assigned two hits. Two hits, right, there we go. Four, one, all right. And then three, four, the final attack. Wow. Ouch. Six all right, all right. One of those is really rolling on this. Wow. <laughs> Dang. Ah, all right. So four. Right. Well. Fine. Um. Hmm. Well, you can take three more to him before you have to, and then one to the site. Yeah. Right. So this way you won't die. <laughs> or, yeah. No. One, two, three, four. I can take all four to him, right? No. He's only at five damage. He's already got two. He can't do more than his damage to him. Okay. So, yeah, I'll take three to him. Right, so he's going to have one more. And then, yes. Okay. Then over here, we're going to attack with a five first. This is going to be okay. It's fine. I'll keep that. I'll uh, lose the crits. No, I'll re roll one zero. There we go. Mm. Mm. Four or five? Five. Five. Uh, mm. Fuck. It's going to suck no matter what, but. Uh, re roll the two. Four. Yeah. Alright, um, so we're dead plus three. Alright, now we got a bunch of twos to attack with. Yeah. Three. Uh, we roll a two. Yeah. Two, there. So two damage to the yeah. site. Is the site now undefended? No, no. It has to be undefended the, the entire turn. Gotcha. One, two, no, I'm gonna reroll. So I still have one left. <laughs> two to the site. Last attack for two. Come on. This could do it. Not no. like that. No. Not like that. Okay. Swing it up. So close. So close. So close. Burns to death. Here, your burning killed something. Woo! The fucking idiot would have had that if it wasn't for the stupid curse. <laughs> You, you would have totally had that. Roll been or grant us I am rolling because I have none, and that could be a big number. Oh. <laughs> I should never roll for me or not. Uh, omens, attacks. Yeah, I'm omens. Where do I want to be? We are going to try to finish this off. There's not much left there. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to move over. I feel like I got a handle on this one right now. <laughs> right now, yeah. Uh, what are we starting off with? Well, let's see. You have any cards in your hand, Sean? Nope. <laughs> oh, wow, man. I guess I don't play back here. Hmm. So, we are going to start with giving Lopin the Book of the Dead, being back up to four attack. 
All right, tap low pan. No, we can't, can you? He's a five. Oh, he's a five? Never mind. Yeah, I'm like, I don't think you can tap low pan. Uh, Wait. You tapped him. Ah, shit. Uh Uh-oh, Sean played extreme. I did. Uh... There's no way to back that out. No, yeah. like, you you tapped my huge no, guy. No, that's like it costs a what three and less? But no, four less. Four less. So my six cost ravenous uh, aristocrat. Yeah, definitely should have should not have been tapped. Yeah, that's big. Oh, uh, wow. that sucks. There's the extreme play. Yeah, but if we didn't already, somehow. That's probably the tenth thing we got wrong. I said this game's got lots of little things like that. There's a ton of, let's just say, it's not a pick up and play. It's not a, hey, let's play this game tonight. Mm-hmm. All right, I am still tapping her, but I'm gaining three energy. Yeah, that's a better from ability, in my opinion. D. I am meditating. Thank you. I almost need to I read out the words energy. every single time so that anyone else can catch it too. Yes, that's true. You, I channeled energy. Okay, uh, I am meditating. I am channeling energy. I'm mm, thinking. Yeah, I want the two cards. I'm going to bring in some more bigger. I have four, so I am also channeling energy. All right. I am playing one, two, four, two. Who's that type? So I get two flame counters on a non legendary minion. Wherever you want. Bopan. He does have five health now. Yeah. Okay. Um, Five essence. Yep. Done? Yep. We're in channeling energy. And summoning. One, two, three, and using this. One played, pick an opponent to randomly discard a card. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but. But it's gone. It's gone. Right. Well, I guess I'm meditating. Two cards. Oh, man. To do that at the wrong time. The, the... Do you want to see those in grace? They draw two cards. Then play a minion from your hand, paying its cost. I can't do it. It's a one defense? Yep. Hmm. When it comes to wounding, those are actually useful. Like, yes. That's the thing. It's yeah. wounding, it's... wounding is awesome, but it, it, the defense against it is to have one, one have creature. Bunch of ones. Hey, you got a bunch of humans, basically, it looks like. Yeah. Well, it depends, because I got humans, demons, and then... Well, that's your three different decks, yeah, right? Yeah, and ghosts. Yeah. Whereas I, ha- I have zombies, wraiths, and... Although, technically, he's called a, ma- a, a, a demon, so... I have zombies, wraiths, and demons. Thought both have demons. I have sirens, demons, and ghosts. Well, they just say Tegu. I have spells. I do cast a lot of spells. So yeah, I have not had a lot of sorcery. I have a sphinx. <laughs> so this guy has like sphinxes and spells. That's what he has. Sorcery, sorcery is not so much. No, I've got quite a few. I had two at the beginning. That was about it. <laughs> but that might be all you have in your deck. Like Could that. be. Which is a shame, because I want more of those cards. I like them. <laughs> Fuck. So that's part of it, right? Like, we've always drafted, but you, I'm sure eventually you'd have a preference of, I want to play this guy with this thing and this. In particular, Tegu with race seems to be good, because I have lots of ways to injure the race, and Tegu heals. Mm. So that seems to be a pretty good combo. But that doesn't go well with a Necromancer, because healing does not go well with getting shit out of your discard pile. Right. Yeah. Damn it. I summon a zombie. Oh. 
Done. All right. I am. One, two, three. I will take the two omens that you get for casting those cards. Tapping Lopan. Jesus, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you just buffed them up. I know. You know what I need? One of the decks lets you return stuff to your hand. That would go really well with this deck. D. I have three mummies out there. Uh, yeah. There's only three mummies in this deck. Nice. That I was able to determine. <laughs> Uh, going to channel. Uh, yeah. I spend two to summon the council of three, which is going to get me an omen. I get get to take cards from my deck and put them in my graveyard, which I'm probably not going to do. What does deep madness do? That's what you put on me, so my thing doesn't have a. Oh, that's spray. the oh, okay. That's the blanket. Yeah, oh, blanks okay. it. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Okay. I'm like, you played it on Yeah, no, To be I honest, just... I didn't read it. <laughs> that's back to me, right? No, it's not. Right. Okay. Uh, I am using Last Energy, playing the Imp, and destroying the Book of the Dead. Ooh, nice call. So he's not attacking this no, one, but, but still. Yeah. Long term plans. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, I, got, I could okay. bury stuff in my deck. Exhaust Zebra. I do not want to. To summon a plague bearer, which will have only cost one, and I will gain a omen for that. I'm um, out. Oh. That's it. It's and it is. Mm. That was the last fight we did. So this time it has to be right. Yeah, it was left last no, time. No, so it'll be left. I'll start on my left and then we'll left go right. Last time. We started first year last time. Did we? In this fight, you started because you went first he against was left me. On my turn last time, so now it must right. be right. Okay, so, so you're I'm going to fight first. here, and then you're going to go first here. Yes. Yeah, because that's where we ended. Yep. Yep. So yeah. All right. No, that's still tight. All right. Uh, yeah, the arrow, an arrow of some sort would yeah, definitely that's help. A, so that's a, it's an optional. Like we're playing with optional rules, basically. So it doesn't matter who I attack with the both twos. Yeah, I would like I'm to judge there. this. I would like to judge this game with two player one time. It's, I think, better. Two <laughs> damage. It's definitely quicker. Like this is, we're almost on three hours. Well, I'd say it probably took two half damage. an hour to cover the oh, rules. Still. Crazy and play it here. So we're at two hours. Yeah. Next. You. Don't tell I, me next. I, okay, so I will attack with this guy. <laughs> like you're next, not me. Yep. We roll the double. Mm-hmm. Or wait, you choose first. I should be pausing and letting you decide. I'll re-roll my two blanks. I have a crit, I have a double. We roll the double. I don't care about the crit unless you're pulling him. No, that's fine. Where's the one damage going? To the site. Okay. I'll damage that. Then I attack with other mummy. Nice. Ooh, that's roll. Oh, um, but I wanted to but... move this guy up for energy at the end of his turn. Sorry. Sure. So that's three damage to the site. Yep. And that's this fight. Now we go over here, but you go first. All right. I go on to attack with. Does it matter? Do any of those matter? Um, the three is probably better than the two. That's all. Uh, I gain an omen, whoever it is, doesn't matter. Because um, I can shit for omens this turn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alright, yes, one with the three. I'll go with him, just because, why not? Uh, so um, keep that. Well, you decide first. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Uh, uh, I'll keep it, yeah, one to sight. Okay. Yeah, we'll do one to uh, low pin. Because I don't care anymore, I'm sick of him. I'd rather he dies than maybe I can resurrect <laughs> him. I will attack with my three. Oh! Uh, I'll reroll the blank. Ugh. 
Do a little crit. Little blanks. I just shouldn't bother. There we go. Dull. Still a crit. All right. Um, no, I'll be rolling another crit. So say I'm killing both those minions. Oh. Well, I'll kill a minion. Uh, the one that's three. This one. And then it's up to you where two goes. Um, the sight's almost toast, eh? Yeah. Might have this. Um, one, two. And then check for two. Oh, I got nothing. Nothing. And Brutal. zombie, huh? you're tapped. Yeah. For one, I will reroll that blank. Get that two. Tight. Boom. Game. Yep. It works. It does. It's awkward. It works. There's some awkward stuff there. Yep. I do like the two, like the facing this and not worrying about that fight, but like, can you imagine playing six players? Like, there's no oh, way. Oh, no. I honestly cannot imagine. Nope. We're going to zoom out. No, I'd be taking so, a yeah. nap if it was a six player game. So now we're going to have final thoughts. Don't bother sorting. We'll do that after I end the stream, because okay. otherwise people are going to watch us sorting cards, <laughs> which we That's now exciting. know is bad. Uh, yeah, so. Which I, we now know is bad? I think we always Here, lean in. <laughs> So yeah, that was Sorcerer three player. I just won in three players. We are fighting two fronts, fighting for London on our east and west or left and right. Um, when a site is destroyed, unlike it being destroyed me out of the game in the normal game, instead all the minions at that site are destroyed and the player who destroyed it gets a point. First player to three points wins and that just happened to me on the third fight here. There was a chance Deanna also might have won this turn. Fire. Yes, we well, burned London. Well, it wasn't London. a very good chance, but I did have No, but you did have a chance. You had yes. a chance to win this turn. Sean, unfortunately, wasn't doing too good in any nope. of the fights, though. I think he was going to get one point there, almost guaranteed. Well, I decided I didn't care, because yeah. he had he, zero, uh, exactly, right? Had zero. I'm much more worried about you. Yeah. So and there's some, there's some neat mechanics here, but I'll get your thoughts first. So, Deanna, what do you think of Sorcerer three-player, having played at least, what, twice two-player? I've played it twice two-player, but both of the two-player games we played, we didn't, we had to call it, we didn't yeah. actually play and the it first time the we end. played so badly. That we're not sure it counted. No, we played it three a... times, because we played at the con, too. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm not even counting the first time we played when we probably yeah. screwed up every rule in the book. Well, it was bad enough. This but, is yeah. a game with a serious learning curve. And even playing it again with, with new decks, when you, yes. when you do that smash-up thing and you get your three decks put them together, every time you're getting a very different experience to figure mm -hmm. out what the yeah. heck you're playing, right? I feel like by the time I've figured out my deck, the game's done. Now, playing it... Next time, you if know, you don't get the same set of three... It'll be You're different again, but, you know, it's it's got a steep learning curve. I think I really uh, like it better with two players. Um, I what don't makes like, it better with two? I don't like splitting my focus. Although you're kind of doing that in the two player either, because you have the three sites you're splitting your focus on. I can't control this over here. You were going to win and beat Sean and win the game, and I ha it's out of my yep. control. That's what I don't like. If it's mm -hmm. just you and me, then... then I think, it, and it'd be even worse if you're playing four six, player, oh. four player battle royal, or six player. Now the four player team sounded just fine, yeah. but but a um, no, I'm just saying. At least with this, you can affect me, so you could make me discard right. cards. But otherwise, so you're, you're getting the, it, the the seven was, wonders effect, yes, which yeah. I don't enjoy that at all. Yeah, or I, I have nothing to do with what's going on at the other end of the table. I've got to admit, so, having not tried it, there's no way I would want to play a four or more player battle royal. No. Nope. Like no, you honestly, like if there was another player sitting right here, besides the boredom of I'm not in that fight twice, yeah. like there's nothing you can do to that player to infect yeah. it. If that player just keeps beating the hell out of me and Sean, Deeds just sits there and goes, Oh, yeah, right? great. Yeah, you're completely out of the game. I can I can absolutely see why the board game geek ratings are showing this as a two, two player game. I would I would say best at two recommended at three. Not recommended I four or more. I don't even but know what when, recommended when you guys played three. four with teams, it was fine the other day. Four with teams, good, like, right? Yeah, okay, so, okay. So, so if you go, if you play the team play, but in battle royale, two. No. I, I mean, three. Battle royale is just playable don't, with three. Well, I don't even know if it's recommended. Two player, the two player is battle royale technically. No, because it's three sites in the middle. It's very different. Mm -hmm. Like you haven't experienced it, but it actually feels very different. And I already mentioned this in the stream, but I really dig this for this game. It's way better than they give you the the pretty box yes. to roll in and it's so so that's a for people learning at the beginning that's a prop to easy roller dice yep who did provide us with this dice trick which yeah, i no. gotta say i like it even the sound it's got yeah a, no i like that sound. it's got it's got enough sound to know you rolled 
or even even if you knock if you knock things, it's got the sound, yeah. but it's not that yeah. on table sound. And the dice storage on the edge really yeah. works. Which when I first saw it's that, helpful. I'm like, why wouldn't I keep my right. dice in front of me? No, well, but in a shared game, yeah, in a game when we're sharing, shared dice, right? it's really nice. Yeah, and if we did have to pass it, if we had a smaller table, it would work. So yeah. I dug yeah. that, and I liked it specifically for this game. Yeah. And it, it, it wasn't. It, 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 it's, it's got it enough sticks. friction yeah. that it, it, it sticks on the table some, but it doesn't stick. It just. So you get my my bonus easy dice roller. Easy roller dice review. Yes. Yeah. Bonus even roller dice. So, Sean, your thoughts on three player? You know, what? we kind of all talked on top of each other. Yeah, no. I, I like the game. Uh, I think it's interesting. I, I like the fact that it takes a long time to learn this game. Like, yeah, you are not going to sit down, play it five times, and be bored the sixth time mm -hmm. because there are so many combos and bits and pieces. Now, on the other hand, it's overwhelming if yeah. you are not. A gamer. Well, this, this is game, a gamer's game. This, this game is, is going to beat you up game. and spit you out for dinner. Yeah, if you haven't played like Magic or Star Realm, not because this isn't a deck builder. Star Realm is a bad example, but any yeah. of those dueling, you are fighting another yep. player, summoning monsters, attacking ashes, Magic the Gathering, yep. Yu Gi Oh, Pokemon. If you haven't played it like as an intro CCG style game, this would be horrible. It's a break you. Uh, yeah, keep and, and and again, we've said this before, but keep it away from your kids. Yeah, this is not a kids game. No. It says um, fourteen plus, and they mean it. Yeah, the, the art, the, the art, and the concepts the, are just are, are just very, adult. they are mature. Yes. Though I can't say much because I bought the Realm of Chaos books for Warhammer at age twelve, but I have that. May, I may or may not have the Realm of Chaos books myself from an early age, but that, that's, 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 that's it's about the same level of disturbing stuff. Yeah, as the 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 Chaos Gods and Warhammer are taking yeah. to the extremes. Yeah, no, absolutely. This, this is almost more twisted. Like mutilation is is yeah, corn kills people. This is yeah, no, this, and it's there's some very darkness. Uh, graphically visual. Whereas yeah. Yeah. the Warhammer, there was some, there was less. That was that British cartoony. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah of it was, wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't quite like. There's a lot of like. Yeah, no, this is this is faces pretty dark with skin ripped off. Kind so of note to sell is what here. we need to do in the show notes is put a timestamp for our final thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's true. And we should jump to it. And I almost wonder if we should do what Rado does and cut out the final thoughts. Oh, a like make them a separate video? And then people can just see our final thoughts at the end of the game. Right. Especially mm -hmm. when we're playing something new, like Gloomhaven every week. I don't know if we need our no. final thoughts. No, Gloomhaven every week would be silly. <coughs> if we so yeah, that was three-player sorcerer. Um, Sean's first time playing. Deanna's about third time playing two-player. I played five times. Two of those were with four players. So that sounds right. Yeah, I think that's right. Three players with, yeah. Three this was your sixth. This play. was my sixth play. Yeah, sorry. This was my sixth play. I still like the game. It's a good game, but it's almost a lifestyle game. Yeah. Like it's not going to take you a lifetime to learn it, but like you play sorcerer and you play sorcerer a lot with your friends, and your friends get good at sorcerer, and you figure out the combos and you figure out the decks, and you know what's in the opponent's decks. I do. Uh, that's a huge part of the game. Yeah. Knowing that you, oh, you played this already, so I know it's safe to play my low pan because you've already played your three sirens. We did, we weren't playing at that level, no, no, or even close. No, no. I, and I have to say, like there is an expansion. There is a three other three other decks decks yeah. you can add in. I can't imagine needing those for a significant period no. of time. No. Like the amount of gameplay you would need before you got to the point of, oh, I know all these combos too well. That's yeah. going to take a while. Even then, you're getting cards out of your graveyard all the time. The, be able to, the ability to search your grimoire, I'm not going to be able to go, oh, you've already played your low pen, because you might be able to take it out of your damn graveyard later. Yeah, for example. <laughs> yeah. Or even knowing how many, right? Like, yeah. I didn't know I had two low pens. It's not legendary, so it makes sense. I'm like, right. oh, hell, I want this guy to die so I can sell my other one, because you only let four guys. Right. So other things I like this game that stuck out was the four limit really mattered this game, at least for me. Mm -hmm. Especially because I could bring these three guys back every well, round. It mattered for me that oh, you only could only get four. I enjoyed the Blood Lord a yeah, lot. So I, found the, I, I would found play this Lord one again for sure. I thought it was super fun. Blood Lord hurt my head. No, I liked it. I felt like I said I felt like I was just getting the hang of it. But there's some neat stuff here. Very high cost cards, but then you then get you this get bonus. Discounts. You can get them out of your grimoire. You can get them out of the graveyard. It's very cool. One of the things I would like to see more with um, the fire is with the fire, make sh making sure that you've got your opponent tapped because then the fire actually matters. I think the fire on an untapped player wasn't mattering that much. I don't know. To me, I the fire is just... up my own character, so yeah. it didn't matter if you were burning them. But that's it. The fire to me is, oh, that's the guy I soaked damage with this turn. Right. That's what it's been almost every time I played. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you and I played and you were doing the fire, it played out very different. Cause but that was, was like our first game ever. Yeah, like it was. It was our, it was our first yeah. real <laughs> game after learning it, and we were like, whoa, things are on fire. Yeah. Um, I do dig this. I think yeah. that's a really neat aspect, but it's hard to remember sometimes. Yeah. 
Um, watch your cards, read them. Yeah, I yeah. I, I, mean, I, I have up. trouble I keeping up track huge. of these. There's yes. multiple times I I looked Moments. at it and went, oh, I didn't get that, and I know I didn't, but I'm not going to wreck on it. I met, I messed up huge. So I, I honestly, your 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 main powers, read them out loud yes, until out until loud. you're all used to it. Read them out loud as you do it, so that everyone can help you. Make sure you're not messing up and, and hurting <laughs> a player that you shouldn't hurt. Sorry, yes. but this is definitely one I want to play again. Like I want to play it again, and I, I want just to play it in two. Run. Just I want not to play three players. Player just probably not three players. <laughs> Possibly four. Get a fourth player here. We'll try team base sometime. Yeah. But, yeah. So we may play it tomorrow. Well, I'll have it with me, but you'll probably be too busy to play much. Yeah, we'll see what's going on. Well, part of it, you're tied up. This is it, right? It is. We are two hours and forty eight minutes into the stream. I don't know how long I thought it took me to cover the rules. I'm going to guess about fifteen twenty minutes. I don't know. You weren't there. I, you know I went what? through them fairly quick. This is. I was here for part of it. This is just one of those. It didn't feel like two and a half hours worth of fun. And it's not too often that I want a game to end. I'm yeah, usually the, the player that's like, player. oh, I just, could it just go a little bit longer? Why is it ending now? Yeah. It's just getting good. And I was, I wanted this one. Well, and again, the, the three player boredom factor happened. Well, yeah, there's, there's that, not your turn. There's that the downtime pro. factor here that really hurt the play. Yeah. Um, and that's and that's unfortunate. And there's not that you're drawing a new hand, so you've got your cards yes. to study in between. You're not so cards. you're only drawing the new cards when you when you do the meditate. So it's you yeah. don't necessarily have things to think about in between. Yeah, no, I mean most of the time it was I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna wait for you yeah. go and wait for I'm you go. I'm really meditating. I'm no, just he, sitting here, yeah, contemplating uh, the universe's navel. It's, especially because you know, I didn't have I didn't have any ability to get extra cards on a regular basis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I always knew what was in my hand. I never had to look at it again, really. Yeah. It was it, it always happened. Um, uh, the only the only time I had I was ever in a bind really was the one time I had to discard a card and I was like, oh now what am I gonna do? Because I had planned to play that that turn. Alright, so that is it. There are our thoughts on sorcerer. Overall it's okay, three players. It's decent. Um I think we all, well, Sean hasn't tried it with two, but it seems like it's best with two. I think with three players, it would be, if, if everyone was familiar, if everyone go knew quicker. the decks, a three-player game would be far better. I so say it's a good, player be with, with skilled players yes. who have some game Because then, the speed, then you're not having as much of a delay yeah. problem. Yeah. Well, a lot of the downtime in this game was, hold on, i got to go through my deck. There is that. There right? is that, right? It's, and it's that's, once on, you know yeah, your deck, you're like, hold my... on, I'm going to grab my one card. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there's my six cost. Go. Yeah. This, right? In this I, we case, can't do I'm that. like, there's a bunch of cards in here I've never seen, well, never yeah, read, no idea like, that you even I, existed. I right? And I was like, cool. Yeah. I panicked when I got a card that said, go through your grimoire, because I'm like, I could be completely wasting my time by doing this. I don't know. Yeah. It could be a complete waste of a card. gross. That is nasty. Like, yes. I don't even want to look at that. That's <laughs> gross. Stuff. The yeah. bugs are the ones that I don't like at all. I didn't, yeah, I'm kind of glad we missed the arthropod one. Yeah, Kat, Kat really likes that deck. She thinks they're all very cute. <laughs> she, has, she has a bug thing. I don't she, know she is misty. No, oh, she thought they were cute. Because like, she was my partner, and she was playing the bugs. She's like, no, cute no, this no, is. No, I'm like, stop showing me the girl's cards, because I am slightly an acro... Uh, what do you call it? Arachnophobic. Arachnophobic. I almost said an anacrophobic. I don't like it when things happen out of time. Yes. <laughs> Because I have to say, that's a good the, name for a the game. demon deck, the lineage Hellfire cult, is not actually that, that bad. bad yeah. I mean, like the creep, like honestly, the creepiest thing is the smiling girl. Like that's kind of yeah, that's not, that's, yeah. but that's not. Mm -hmm. that, not but that's forced to it. Um, All right, Mazelda is very sexual. That's the, the one thing. Kind of, the siren. Yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah, the and then the rest. And this, this is. That was your it's, it's bunch dark. of humans or something. I don't know. You had like some, haunted forest. This is the ghost one. The ghost. Ghosts? Yeah. The humans were the demons for some reason. Oh, okay. I don't know why. They're, they're probably cultists. Yeah, they yeah. summon the demons. Yeah, the demonologist has yeah. got a bunch of demons. And lots of rerolls, which can also drag the game out. Yeah. Personally, I think it works. Like, there is tension that, oh, re -roll. To be honest, I actually prefer the dice to, to, magic, to like magic, where it's like, this. Can, I'm doing seven damage based on these. Yeah, I know. It's cool that you have that. And, and I love your luck that aspect versus that. And the omens. Yep. I really yep. like the, the mechanics of you get to the side, I get to the side, matters a lot. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the undefined, and then the undefended, that becomes a whole different ball game. Yeah, that's something I've yeah, actually played wrong. doubles down on the undefended. I had that's played that wrong previously, so we had played Extreme Versions. Of course we had. <laughs> So yeah, what else we got going on? So um, that pretty no. much wraps it up. So tomorrow, no one's here live in the stream. Nope. Well, one person is. Uh, we're going to be at CG Realm, playing for 12 hours straight for extra life, raising money for six kids. 
Um, for those of you watching now, we'll be back on Twitch. Watch your notifications. But we're going to try to stream the whole thing. Well, we should be um, as, as close to 10 a.m. as possible. To 10 p.m. That's yeah, the plan. As close as we can. Um, next week after that, there's we should be back to Gloomhaven here on Friday nights. So every Friday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv, tabletop bellhop, live gaming. Usually Gloomhaven, and when the our usual players for Gloomhaven aren't available, something else, like tonight we played Sorcerer. Wednesday night, same channel, twitch.tv, tabletop bellhop. We record the tabletop bellhop gaming podcast where Sean and I answer your gaming questions. Speaking of that, we're looking for questions. Anything you want to ask about games, game nights, event organizing, cons, how to run games, what games to buy, where to shop for games, whatever you can think of. Even problem players, uh, situations you want to help, you want help with. We're in, we're willing to answer all your questions, not just about the box games, but about our surrounding gaming at yes. the table. Yeah, think of us as a dear Abby for gamers, and to that end, send your questions to questions at tabletopbellhop.com, or head over to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop. While you're there, check out the rest of the website. There's news, there's reviews, and other things. And right now, we happen to have a giveaway going for a copy of an abstract strategy game called Zentico. If you go to my review section, you'll see it there. Read up on the game. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's an awesome game for playing outdoors. And we're going to send a copy to someone worldwide. So check that out. And I think the last thing we have to say is if you dig this and you go to the website and you like what you see there and you like the content we're producing, it'd be awesome if you went to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and considered tipping the bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. I'm Good night.